Chapter 2341 The New Seventh Commander, Yan Fei Translator Born to be the two of them were extremely close, and Long Chen had been nodding along when he suddenly struck. No one was able to react. Yan Fei was sent flying by Long Chen's slap, causing everyone to jump. Even the short fellow was dumbfounded. Long Chen's guess was correct. The short one was from the Long family and had received words to look after Long Chen. As for Yan Fei, based on his demand for proof, it was clear he was intentionally making things hard on Long Chen. Although Yan Fei had heard of Long Chen and knew that he could do anything, he hadn't thought that Long Chen would be so crazy as to directly slap him. The heavenly dragon Legion behind Yan Fei instantly exploded in fury. Weapons came flying out. This slap was a slap to the heavenly dragon Legion. The commander of the seventh heavenly dragon Legion was already killed by me. What hole did you crawl out of to dare to lie to me? Long Chen sneered at Yan Fei. Ignoring the furious gazes, the truth was that Yan Fei had been sent by the Yi family to take over the seventh commander position after Yi Benchang was killed. He truly was the seventh commander. As for the short one, he was the sixth commander. They were on the same level, but he was one rank higher. Yan Fei wasn't actually viewed highly by the Yi family. As a person, he was too unbridled and aggressive. He was only given this position temporarily because there was no one else suitable. Guarding the yin-yang world during this time was actually a boring task with nothing to do day and night. When he was bored, Yan Fei would try to cause some trouble and provoke the other commander, but the short fatty had ignored him the entire time. To use Elder Long's words, he could be treated as a dog. However, today, Yan Fei had tried to bite Long Chen and Long Chen didn't have the same attitude when it came to responding. Long Chen's slap was startling but also satisfying to the other commander. At the same time, he also realized Elder Long's intentions. Courting death, Yan Fei furiously extended a hand and an ancient sword appeared. With a stamp on the ground, he shot toward Long Chen. However, he had barely moved when he suddenly realized two black and white vines had appeared beneath his feet without him noticing. He wasn't able to escape from their hold. Yan Fei slashed his sword at those vines, only for a small figure to flash by his body. His head went flying from his neck. Everyone let out a startled cry. Dong Mingaya was holding Yan Fei's head. This time, she hadn't even bothered to conceal her body. With just her speed, she had taken his head as easy as pie. If anyone makes a move, I'll kill him. Dong Mingyu pointed her dagger at Yan Fei's head in response to the charging Heavenly Dragon Legion. The Heavenly Dragon Legion's warriors all came to a stop. This seemingly pure little girl was actually so terrifying that she could take Yan Fei's head in an instant. Dong Mingyu tossed the head to Long Chen, who caught it. He directly slapped the head 36 times, causing it to swell up. Yes. Yan Fei was definitely worthy of being an expert on the verge of stepping into the fourth step of the Nether Passage realm. Anyone else's head would have exploded. As he slapped him, Long Chen cursed. Who let you be so arrogant? Who let you try to pretend to be the seventh commander? Speak. Who are you? I. I'm Yan Fei. I'm the seventh commander of the Heavenly Dragon Legion. With just a head, Yan Fei was shocked, enraged, and terrified at the same time. Bullshti, the seventh commander is Yi Ben Chang. Who do you think you're trying to fool? Your mouth's pretty tough. Ha? Huh? I'll slap it some more and see if I can get the truth out of you. Long Chen continued to slap him for free. Yan Fei's head swelled up to three times the size. Meanwhile, Guo Ran and the others retreated, afraid of being in the splash zone if his head exploded. Yan Fei's subordinates were just watching, not knowing what to do. They were afraid that if they got any closer, Long Chen would kill him. They hadn't expected Long Chen to be so powerful as to crush a commander. Actually, he hadn't even needed to do anything himself. They didn't even know where those vines had come from. And Dong Mingyu had simply brushed past Yan Fei to take his head. I'm the new commander, shouted Yan Fei. Due to the swelling, his voice wasn't very clear. I don't believe you, sneered Long Chen. Everyone here can testify to it, shouted Yan Fei. I won't believe their testimony. Have your people take a trip to the higher ups. We can wait here. After saying that, Long Chen still didn't stop slapping. However, 
He was forced to lighten up because it really did appear like Yan Fei's head was on the verge of exploding. Commander Kiu, are you just going to watch? Shouted someone from the 7th Heavenly Dragon Legion. The other commander's full name was Kiu Yang. Only upon being called upon did he recover from his shock. Long Chen, this person is truly a commander of the Heavenly Dragon Legion. I can testify to that. Commander Kiu, your testimony doesn't seem to have any use. You also testified that my tablet was from Elder Long, but someone didn't believe that. So it's very hard for me to believe your testimony, said Long Chen. Now everyone understood. This was Long Chen's revenge. Yan Fei had known the tablet belonged to Elder Long but had still tried to make things hard on him. Long Chen had not reversed things on him. Well, all right then. Ki Yang acted like he was in a difficult spot, as if he was thinking about how to settle this. Long Chen didn't respond. He continued to occasionally slap Yan Fei. His skin was violet and splitting open. People really were afraid he was about to explode. Bidang Rushuang and the others solemnly shook their heads. They had been angry at first about Yan Fei making things hard on them, but seeing him in this state, they felt a touch of sympathy for him. He could have provoked anyone, but he just had to provoke Long Chen. This was the recompense of a bad person targeting another bad person. I'm telling the truth, and your tablet is also the real thing. We're both telling the truth, cried Yan Fei. So we don't need any further proof. Long Chen finally stopped. Yes, there's no need for that, cried out Yan Fei immediately. Ha ha ha, good, good. It seems that we had some misunderstandings before, but now that they are settled, here, let me help you fit your head on. Long Chen smiled brightly as he put Yan Fei's head back on his neck. That sight was very odd, as his head was as thick as his shoulders now. Meng Chi and the others stifled some laughter. However, Long Chen didn't laugh. He solemnly said, We're both young and have to constantly improve our communication skills. I believe that in the future, by constantly looking to improve ourselves in that regard, our technique will steadily improve. Yan Fei's head gradually returned to normal. He could barely open his eyes, but his venomous gaze came through anyway. He had lost all his face today, and he had an urge to tear Long Chen into pieces. However, he didn't dare to. He was afraid. His life had always gone smoothly, resulting in his arrogance. But in the face of the even more arrogant Long Chen, he instantly turned into a coward. Hmm? Aren't you going to get out of our way? Or do we need more proof? Asked Long Chen. Yan Fei clenched his teeth, only to find that he couldn't. At some point, his teeth had left his mouth. He waved his hand, opening a path. Long Chen smiled, cupped his fists to Ki Yang and then brought his people through. Seeing the seventh heavenly dragon Legion's warriors glaring at him furiously, Long Chen suddenly paused and said, It would be best if you don't bare your fangs at me, as you aren't qualified to do so. If you want, you can pick out any warrior of my dragon blood Legion to challenge. Man, woman, strong, weak, pick anyone you want. The dragon blood warrior's eyes lit up, and their gazes swept across the heavenly dragon Legion like cheetahs looking at their prey. That bloodthirsty light made the heavenly dragon Legion's warriors shiver. Their hearts plummeted. Not one of them walked out. Long Chen snorted and brought his people into the Yun Yang world. Once the army was through, Yan Fei furiously cursed. Long Chen, just wait. Sooner or later, you'll get a punishment worse than death for going against the Divine Family's commander Yan Fei. On your own, you are unable to represent even the Yi family, let alone the Divine Families. Also, I'd advise you not to speak anymore, because you're starting to deflate with Ki Yang's reminder. Everyone was shocked to find that Yan Fei's head was deflating like a balloon. His skin gradually fell to his chest, causing people to cry out in shock. Just how had Long Chen done this? Chapter 2342 One Eye Open One Eye Closed Translator Born to be the 300,000 strong army entered the Yun Yang world. As for Long Chen's beating of Yan Fei, the old man was delighted by it, while Ku Jin Ying was more solemn. Offending the Yi family to this extent was clearly the result of being used by Elder Long. Their two forces were fighting, while Long Chen was caught in the middle, dancing on the tip of a blade. Mingyu, what kind of movement art did you just use? 
asked Tang Wan'er curiously. It even ignored spatial and temporal laws. None of them had ever witnessed the movement art that Dong Ming Gyu had used. Not even Yan Fei had been able to react to it. It's one of the killing god secrets techniques. The movement part of the heavenly desolation extinction art. I just learned it and haven't mastered it yet. Dong Ming Gyu laughed excitedly. Very pleased. Dong Ming Gyu had fully integrated into the Dragonblood Legion and was no longer a cold and aloof assassin. She was acting much more like a normal girl, with her emotions on her sleeve. That's amazing. You haven't even mastered it but were still able to cut off Yan Fei's head instantly, praised Tang Wan'er. An assassin was truly terrifying. It was mostly thanks to big sister Ru Ian's help. If she hadn't trapped him, this move might not have worked, said Dong Ming Gyu. Only then did the others realize that the one who had silently bound Yan Fei was Lu Ru Ian. Nang Gong Zuiu and the others were quite startled. They had seen Lu Ru Ian's fighting style before. It was a style which overwhelmed others through sheer size and scope. Her attacks filled heaven and earth. However, this time, she had been silent, striking without anyone noticing. It was a completely different style. Clearly, her cultivation base had grown even more powerful. After half an incense stick's worth of time, Long Chen had everyone stop. The Dragonblood warriors got to work, setting something up on the ground. What is this? Asked Bidang Rushuang. A transportation formation. If something unexpected happens, it'll allow us to retreat quickly, answered Long Chen. Everything had been arranged long before. It was quickly set up, with another illusion formation assembled outside it to prevent others from noticing. After the formation was set up, Guo Ran took out a tiny formation disc. There was a small pointer on it that roved around before settling in a certain direction. What's that? This is the great invention I made with brother Xia Chen, said Guo Ran, very pleased with everyone's curiosity. The needle can sense where the blood race is. Since the needle moved a lot, it means that there are many of them in every direction. But the final direction is where there are the most. This startled them. Such a thing had never been invented on the Martial Heaven continent, but it had appeared in the Dragonblood Legion. If something like it had existed before, it must have been lost or broken. In truth, if it weren't for a certain kind of mystical ore found in the wild world, Guo Ran and Xia Chen wouldn't have been able to come up with this thing. That ore was very sensitive to bloodline auras. Xia Chen had carved a special formation onto it, and by condensing the essence blood of the blood race, he gave it the ability to sense the general direction of the blood race. They continued onward. However, they didn't see a single expert of the blood race patrolling, causing Ku Jin Ying to cautiously wonder, isn't this strange? The Yun Yang world is oddly silent, Li Xiang Xuan said. Alliance head, no one could possibly know that we are coming to attack the Yun Yang world. Only our few core members knew about this, with the disciples only learning about it after arriving here. Our enemies couldn't possibly calculate such a thing into their schemes. That's why Long Chen chose to attack on the day of the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow races coronation that's right. Why did we have to keep it so secret? Would someone have stopped us? Asked Bidang Rushuang suddenly. I don't know about someone stopping us, but I would guess that someone would have warned the blood race, said Long Chen. Warn them? You mean that the martial heaven continent has traitors? Long Chen nodded. There are definitely traitors, but it's hard to say who exactly. Don't you feel that the blood race's sudden sneak attack to break the sovereign seals came at far too convenient of a time? Upon hearing that, everyone's hearts plummeted. That truly was questionable. As soon as Long Chen had returned to the martial heaven continent from the netherworld, he had charged into the Kunpeng race's territory to undergo his tribulation. The Martial Heaven Continent's experts had all gathered there, with Yi Benchang also leaving his post. That was what had allowed the Blood Race to launch a sneak attack and destroy the Sovereign Seals. How had the Blood Race known what was going on? How had they managed to attack when their defenses were at their weakest? Everything had gone flawlessly for them as if it had been planned in advance. If that was a coincidence, then it was far too coincidental. People had simply assumed that the blood race possessed the ability to keep an eye on the entrance even without being there. After seeing Yi Benchang leave, they had decided to launch a sneak attack. However, 
when Long Chen brought up the possibility of traitors, a shadow fell on people's hearts. If there really were traitors, then the Martial Heaven continent was in danger. Who are the traitors? Let's sniff them out and exterminate them now, said Bao Buping hatefully. It's still just a possibility. Without any solid proof, mentioning it will only cause chaos on the continent. If there is a fox, it will reveal its tail sooner or later. To us, who the traitor is isn't important. What's important is that we increase our power. As the old man says, in front of absolute power, all schemes are useless, said Long Chen with a smile. Ha ha ha, that's definitely right, laughed the old man. In truth, that line wasn't just from him. It was a principle left behind by the founder of the heaven-splitting battle sect. The old man liked it, as did Long Chen. As they were traveling, Guo Ran suddenly took out his crossbow. However, Bidang Rushuang was even faster. Her arrow shot out into the distance. At the very end of people's sight, one of the blood race's experts exploded into bloody mist. That blood race expert was holding a sphere. It was most likely a communication tool. But before he could activate it, he was killed. Bidang Rushuang's attack was as smooth as flowing water. Extremely easy. Her bow and body complemented each other perfectly. Beautiful. Praised Guo Ran. That attack had been so beautiful that he forgot how to breathe. He was envious of that beauty. However, he was a man. And he didn't use a lithe bow but a giant crossbow. It seemed that he wouldn't be able to imitate such a thing. Guo Ran chortled and moved closer. Saying. Fairy Rushuang, as a peerless heavenly genius, someone who swept away those in their generation, a phoenix of her time, a slayer of evil, an undefeatable heroine, someone on the same level as heaven and earth, who competes with the sun and moon. Stop, stop, if you have something to say, just say it, I'm getting goosebumps from your nonsense, ordered Bidang Rushuang. Ah, I just meant that after so many years. Have you not found someone that your heart fancies? Asked Guo Ran. You wish to place your intentions on me? Bidang Rushuang looked at Guo Ran curiously. No, I know my own limits. I can't match someone like you. Guo Ran hastily waved his hand. Then what demanded Bidang Rushuang? He, I was just wondering, with your status, position, beauty, talent, well, how should I put it? If you found a man that you liked and that man liked others, well romantically, what would you do, probed Guo Ran, at the front, Long Chen's expression darkened, that bastard Guo Ran was once more itching for a beating, was he insulting him as unfaithful, Bidang Rushuang looked at Long Chen's back and smiled, me, of course I would choose to close an eye, really, you'd be that great about it, asked Guo Ran, surprised, yes, that way, I can aim accurately, Bidang Rushuang nodded, Guo Ran, Long Chen, everyone, just at this moment, Bidang Rushuang shot another arrow, it silently pierced straight through a mountain and killed another expert of the blood race that had been hiding within, Bidang Rushuang's archery skill was practically divine, capable of softness and hardness, she had killed someone inside a mountain without the slightest noise, we're getting closer to the blood race's camp, be careful, Xia Chen looked at the formation disc in his hand, Many concentrated dots of light had appeared on top of it now. There's so many. Guo Ran gasped. The number of light dots was surprising. What are you saying? If there aren't that many, there won't be enough for us to share, said Long Chen. Long Chen looked at the surrounding terrain. It was spacious. There was no need to do anything special. He turned to face everyone. In a bit, the Dragonblood Legion will charge into the center of them. Lingxian. Rushuang. Zuayu, attack from three different angles, charge straight through the battlefield every time, don't let yourselves be surrounded by us, we still don't know what kind of reinforcements they might summon, so the sooner we end it, the better, Zi Yan, you're in charge of the rhythm of the battlefield, Zi Yan smiled and nodded, indicating to leave it to her, chapter 2343 Guo Ran fights an old monster translator, Born to be this place was originally a flourishing mountain range full of life and greenery. Now, it was barren, as barren as a shaved head. The unbroken mountain range had countless experts of the blood race crawling about like ants, and at the core of everything was a certain mountain. 
Many of the blood race experts were sitting around the mountain range like statues with their eyes closed. But at the core, countless figures were bustling about. Those experts were constructing a giant sacrificial altar. Above it, the void was split open, and a giant spatial channel churned in the air. It was like the gaping maw of a fiend seeking to devour the entire world. Boss, they're constructing a formation that can cross worlds. It's a supreme formation, and based on the fluctuations, it seems to connect to formations in several other worlds, said Xia Chen heavily. Long Chen and the others slowly approached this area. It's connected to seven worlds, said Long Chen. Boss, when did you get so proficient in formations? Asked Xia Chen with surprise. You can tell how many worlds are connected based on the runes. No, I can see seven holes within the spatial channel, and I can see other experts of the blood race at the end of those holes. Xia Chen looked more closely at the spatial channel, but his spiritual strength was unable to penetrate so deeply into it. He could vaguely see a few of those holes Long Chen mentioned, but he couldn't tell how many of them there were. Seven whole worlds. Just how powerful is the blood race? Gu Yang was speechless. What is there to be surprised about? Everyone says that the only ones capable of resisting the crazy tide of a dark era are the sovereigns. That's enough to show how dark the dark eras are. The sovereigns are peerless existences after all, said Long Chen. Last time, he had lost to Sovereign Mo Li, and he was completely convinced by his defeat. Although Long Chen had never tasted defeat by someone in the same realm. Sovereign Moli had personally said that his clone that had appeared was at the same cultivation base as him. Yet, the power difference between them was immense. However, the battle had not shaken his confidence. It only made his desire to fight grow. He had a new target for himself. But you're not inferior either, boss. The only one capable of surviving after fighting a sovereign is you, said Guo Ran worshipfully. Your bootlicking ability has also grown immensely. A defeat is a defeat. Guo Ran, you can start things off. I'll give you a chance to show off as you like today, said Long Chen. All right, then just watch. Guo Ran charged out, his blood-colored armor instantly appearing. After that, his crossbow unleashed an arrow that exploded in midair, releasing bright light that drew the attention of the blood race. I swept through the four seas, crossed a thousand mountains, caused huge billows in heaven and earth. Slaughter demons, eliminated devils, plucked the stars and moon, the slayer of evil, Guo Ran, has come, my divine crossbow and blood armor shake the wind and clouds, hey, with the general of the dragon blood legion here, what are you waiting for, just kill yourselves, are you really going to force the mighty Guo Ran to personally kill you all, the blood races experts looked at Guo Ran standing in the air with confusion. It seemed that they had yet to understand what was going on. Guo Ran waved his hand. His crossbow shot out a blood-colored arrow at the experts working on the spatial channel. Boom. The arrow exploded in their midst into countless tiny fragments. They were so sharp that they instantly pierced the bodies of those who were struck. Blood filled the air in an instant. With just one arrow, that area was completely emptied. As Guo Ran's cultivation base progressed. The explosive arrows he could make also grew more terrifying. Before this, one of his exploding arrows would only have one explosion rune embedded into it. Now, he had three, all of a higher level. Attack. Surprisingly, the blood race's experts gave the order in the language of the human race. Perhaps they had been fighting humans for too long. Countless experts surged toward Guo Ran from every direction. At the same time, the mountain range opened up and even more of their experts were coming out from within. Haha, <laughs> this will definitely be enough. Seeing all those experts of the blood race, Guo Ran laughed. If they were all killed, then the immemorial essence blood they could get would be enough for everyone to share. Rain of flowers. Guo Ran suddenly let out a strange shout. Putting away his crossbow, he began to toss one sphere after another into the air. Those spheres exploded on contact with people and the continuous explosions were like firecrackers. Anyone caught within the range of the spheres was blasted apart. Despite that, the blood race's experts were about to completely envelop Guo Ran. Just at that moment, rays of sword chi pierced through their midst, annihilating them. The dragon blood legion had come out again. Having advanced to the nether passage realm, 
they felt like they had been reborn. Here on the battlefield, they could unleash their reason for being. The void suddenly split open, and a spear pierced through the air. That spear contained intertwining life and death energy. It was the attack of a fourth step nether passage expert. I'll block it. Kuo Ran bravely stood right in front of the spear and took it on his chest. Boom. Kuo Ran was blown back by the spear but not pierced through. An elder of the blood race appeared, staring in disbelief at Kuo Ran. Ha ha ha. A fourth step nether passage expert is only at this level. You can't even break my defense. Laughed Kuo Ran. At this moment, a door knocker appeared on Guo Ran's chest. It was something that Long Chen had torn off of the gates of hell. The other door knocker was in Long Chen's hands, but this one had been added to Guo Ran's armor. At first, Guo Ran had been a bit worried about the attack of a fourth step nether passage expert, but the result was that he wasn't injured at all. Other than being uncomfortable, it was nothing. The fourth step nether passage expert snorted and shot toward Guo Ran once more. Clearly unconvinced, Blood Chi filled the air as he unleashed his full power. You think I can't block another? Sneered Guo Ran. He once more stepped forward, sticking out his chest. However, this time, the Blood Race's expert suddenly twisted his spear, causing it to snake toward Guo Ran's abdomen. Boom. Sparks flew and Guo Ran was blown back once more. The Blood Race expert was shocked to find that his attack had stabbed the door knocker again. His arm was numb and his spear almost fell from his hand. Just what was going on? Idiot. My protective talisman can be freely moved around my armor. Did you think your little tricks would allow you to fight against your daddy Guo? How laughable. Sneered Guo Ran. However, inside his armor, blood dripped out of his mouth. He had been too careless just now. Fortunately, the door knocker had moved automatically just as he had set it up. But the power that got through it was enough to shake his insides. Despite that, this once more proved just how amazing the door knocker that had come from the netherworld was. It was even able to receive the full strength attack of a fourth step nether passage expert. Old fellow, taste one of my attacks now. Guo Ran slashed his blood colored saber at him. The old expert of the blood race didn't dare to tarry. His right hand was still somewhat numb. So he switched his spear to his left hand. When Guo Ran's saber slashed into the spear, he was forced back by its immense power. However, as the blood race expert retreated, a dagger silently appeared behind his head. His head then slammed into it on its own, with the sharp dagger piercing all the way through. His eyes lost their light as his life faded away. After that, a hand pulled the dagger out of his head and vanished. From start to end, no one managed to see who was holding the dagger. Standing in the air. Long Chen smiled. The heavenly desolation extinction art was truly amazing. As expected of something that Len Yuian viewed highly, Dong Mingyu had grown even more terrifying. Even he was unable to sense her once she wished to conceal herself. Boom. A powerful explosion drew everyone's attention. Another fourth step nether passage expert had appeared, and Wild exchanged blows with him. The two of them were evenly matched and were both blown back. Just as that elder retreated, a towering willow tree appeared, binding him with its branches. At the same time, a transparent crescent moon blade slashed toward him. The elder let out a furious roar, and the branches binding him exploded off of him. However, just at that moment, the crescent moon blade reached his head. This gift that came from Len Yuian was incomparably sharp. It instantly pierced the elder's head, killing him. Tang Wan'er cried out excitedly at having killed a fourth step nether passage expert while working with Lu Ruian. Kill. Just at that moment, heaven shaking roars came from the surroundings. Nangong Zuayu, Bidang Rushuang, and Yi Lingxian attacked, leading three armies from three different directions. They pierced through the army of the blood race like sharp blades. Chapter 2344 Heaven Earth Twisting Massacre Translator. Born to be of the three armies. The one belonging to the Martial Heaven Alliance had the most people. They had over 200,000 disciples, and they were handpicked to the best of the best. Under Yi Lingxian's guidance, they charged through the blood race like an angry dragon. On the other side, Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang led the disciples of their two families through the blood race, causing chaos through their ranks. Nine Tribulation Killing Formation called out Guo Ran. 
blue light appeared on top of the dragonblood warrior's swords. Rays of sword chi shot out, and they were like a jagged disc whirling through the blood rays. The blue sword chi was bizarre. It went straight through their opponent's weapons to kill them. Careful, warned Bidang Rushuang. Guo Ran had just given the order to change formations when over ten of the blood race's old fourth step nether passage experts appeared. It seemed that they had decided that Guo Ran was the leader, and they all bounced on him. You want to compete in numbers? A few old tortoises aren't worth shit in front of me. Guo Rang arrogantly laughed and crossed his sabers in front of him. The manifestations of the dragon blood warriors shook and linked up. Ten thousand streams of energy surged toward Guo Ran. Dragonblood cross slash. This attack containing the concentrated power of the entire Dragonblood Legion crashed down upon the Blood Race's Nether Passage experts. Their expressions completely changed, and they all joined forces to defend against it. Boom. The void exploded, with life and death energy shooting out in every direction. After that, all those fourth step Nether Passage experts coughed up blood and were blown back. The light of a firefly dares to compete with the light of the bright moon? How laughable. Cough. Guo Ran ended up coughing a mouthful of blood before he could finish his mocking. Just now, the combined power of the fourth step nether passage experts hadn't been able to fully cancel out the power of the dragon blood legion. But as the conduit, Guo Ran had suffered a certain backlash. Normally, such a backlash wasn't strong enough to make him cough up blood. However, in order to act supreme and undefeatable, Guo Ran had talked immediately after the exchange without first focusing on suppressing the backlash, resulting in his coughing. One of those fourth step nether passage experts had barely stabilized when his expression changed. A gust of wind at the back of his head made him smash his fist behind him. However, he didn't hit anything, and a wind blade slashed through his face. In that instant, he realized he had fallen for a feint with the true killing blow coming from the front. Regretfully, even if he understood, it was meaningless. His blood splashed through the air. Endless falling wood. Wood burial. Chu Yao stabbed her black staff into the ground, and wooden thorns came flying out of it like pythons, attacking the other fourth step nether passage experts. As thorns exploded from the ground, willow branches filled the air, completely covering those nether passage experts. Boom. The thorns and branches were like a pot and a lid, slamming shut on them. Heaven Earth Twisting Massacre. Chu Yao and Lu Ruian shouted in unison, their minds connected. The thorns and branches twisted in one direction like wringing water from a cloth. The wooden pillar trembled. Clearly, the trap nether passage experts were struggling with all their might, but they were unable to escape. Suddenly, a burst of blood came from one of the cracks and slowly dripped out. More and more blood appeared from various cracks in the wooden pillar, until the auras of those fourth step nether passage experts finally faded. They were all killed. How powerful! Bidang Rushuang exclaimed in amazement. Lu Ruian and Chu Yao had perfectly combined their power. This was practically a peerless killing art. Once trapped, no one could escape. Adding on the huge range that this attack covered initially, it wouldn't even give someone a chance to escape. Chu Yao and Lu Ruian exchanged a smile. This was the combination art they had come up with after advancing to Nether Passage, and it was the first time they were using it in front of others. To kill over ten of the Blood Race's fourth step Nether Passage experts with it on their first try was surprising even to them. Chu Yao was pleasantly surprised. This staff looked unremarkable, but it contained a terrifying wood energy and was capable of instantly sucking up the energy of the earth to unleash an equally terrifying attack. Before this, her wood energy couldn't move that fast because she needed time to absorb the energy of the earth, which also gave her enemies extra warning before her attacks. However, with this staff, the speed at which she could unleash her wood energy had doubled, and best of all, this staff was growing alongside her with every passing day. It had its own life, and as it grew stronger, she could use it more efficiently. Furthermore, because she was nourishing it along with Lu Ruian, the two of them were able to work together in ways that they hadn't been able to before. Lu Ruian's willow branches and Chu Yao's wooden staves had become much tougher, to the point of being able to trap over ten fourth step nether passage experts and kill them, even though these two ladies had caught them off guard by unleashing their attack quickly. 
it was still a fact that not one of them had managed to escape. That was enough to show just how terrifying their combination technique was. Ha ha ha. Fourth step nether passage experts are only on this level. Laughed Guo Ran confidently. Don't get arrogant. These fourth step nether passage experts aren't on the same level as Elder Long and the others. Take care. Some old monsters are charging out from below. Warned Long Chen. It was unknown if it was because of their bloodline or their aptitude. But Long Chen felt that these fourth step nether passage experts were far weaker than Elder Long. If Elder Long wished to kill them, he could do so without any effort. Last time, in front of Devil Spirit Mountain, Long Chen had seen some clues about his power. Those fourth step nether passage experts that Elder Long had slain had clearly been killed in one blow each. If Guo Ran judged all fourth step nether passage experts to be at this level, then he would be doomed if he encountered one like Elder Long. The earth exploded. All of a sudden, the sacrificial altar at the center of the battlefield sank, and the spatial channel in the air shuddered. Damn human race, you're courting death. The world suddenly turned dark, and over a hundred elders of the blood race appeared, all of them so furious that flames were about to burst from their eyes. They were led by an elder with two golden bullhorns on his forehead. Golden light twinkled in his eyes. Ignorant humans, go to hell. Those experts looked as though their ancestral tombs had just been robbed. That was how furious they were. Their furious auras revealed them as fourth step nether passage experts, and they all charged at the Dragonblood Legion. Boss, they were most likely the core of the formation setting up the giant spatial channel, but they were interrupted by us, said Xia Chen. Long Chen nodded. Although he wasn't a formation master, Seeing these elders look like their fathers had just been killed was enough to tell him that he had just ruined something good for them. It just so happened that I was worried about not having enough to kill. Excellent. Don't move. Your daddy Guo will beat the blood out of you. Guo Ran slammed his blades against each other, causing sparks to fly. He charged out alone against those experts. Fuck off. The golden horned blood race expert actually cursed him with the human language. From his curved golden blade, a golden light infected the world. Boom. Guo Ran was sent flying back, smashing into the ground like a shooting star, startling everyone. Guo Ran himself was horrified. His whole body was covered in cracks, and her sabers had large nicks cut into them. If that saber hadn't landed on the door knocker on Guo Ran's chest in the end, that one attack might have cut him in half along with his armor. The golden horned blood race expert roared and stepped forward. Space twisted, and he appeared right in front of Guo Ran in an instant, slashing his blade once more. Boom. This time, a giant bone club blocked his saber. Wild had summoned his barbarian blood silver body, but even then, he was being forced back again and again. With one final step back, he stabilized himself, and the void behind him collapsed from the impact. A descendant of the barbarian race? I wouldn't expect one to appear here. You brainless muscle head. Die. The elder smiled sinisterly. He suddenly opened his mouth, and a golden light shot out at Wilde's head. Chapter 2345 Demonic Furnace Translator Born to be the golden light was like a sharp blade piercing toward Wilde's head. It was extremely sudden and fast, catching even Long Chen off guard. Wilde instinctively turned his head to the side, resulting in that light narrowly missing the center of his head. It cut by his forehead, tearing through his skin and leaving a wound so deep that they could see his skull. Silver blood slowly poured down his forehead. Wilde's eyes instantly became icy with killing intent. Golden symbols appeared in his pupils. You have an aura I hate. I'll eat you. Wilde suddenly swung his club again, and this time, the golden horned elder was forced back. Die. Wild furiously attacked over and over again. He entered a rare berserk state and began to pressure the golden horned elder with his attacks. Meanwhile, Guo Ran had finished healing and was creeping up behind the elder, slashing his saber at his neck. Just as his attack was about to land, the elder twisted his head, receiving Guo Ran's saber with one of his horns. Sparks flew and Guo Ran's arm turned numb. He was shocked. Just what kind of terrifying origin did this fellow have? Boss, this one is tough. Help us suppress him, shouted Guo Ran. You and Wild can handle him. Compared to Elder Long, he's still lacking. Grow up a bit. You caused this, so you deal with it. 
said Long Chen. Encountering this powerful opponent made Wild even braver. As for Guo Ran, after losing in two exchanges, he wanted to run. For the Dragonblood Legion to have such a fellow within its ranks was truly embarrassing. Fine, I'll try it. Guo Ran felt a bit more confident with Long Chen's indifference to the Golden Horned Elder. Seeing Wild continuing his berserk attacks, he joined in, disturbing the elder when he had a chance. Wild was roaring as he attacked. The golden symbols in his pupils gradually turned the rest of his eyes golden. They were like two glowing lamps, giving off a frightful light. Long Chen was shocked that the blood race's elder's attacks could pierce through Wild's tough skin. However, they were unable to pierce his bones. Although Wild was repeatedly injured, None of them were fatal wounds. Seeing that by fighting together, they were able to handle this golden horned elder, Long Chen was reassured. Chu Yao, Lu Ruian, Tang Wanur, Yi Zhikyu, Dong Mingyu, and the others were fighting their own opponents. There were over a hundred fourth step nether passage experts to choose from. Nangong Zuayu, Bidang Rushuang, and Yi Lingxian were in their midst. For over a hundred fourth step nether passage experts to appear at once was stretching their limits. However, Long Chen still had no intention of joining in. Chu Yao and Lu Ruian were able to oversee the entire battlefield with their wide range of attacks. Gu Yang, Li Qi, Song Mingguan, and Yu Zifeng also joined the fray. The heaven splitting battle sects Bao Buping and Chang Hao, the Zhuanshan Dao sects Hua Shiyu, Zhao Ziyan, Su Mo. Mu Kingsuan, and all the others charged in as well. Wooden thorns pierced through the air, and willow branches covered the sky. These heavenly geniuses rarely had to fight together with others, especially peerless heavenly geniuses like Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuayu, who had never had anyone qualified to work with them. But now, by working together with the likes of Chu Yao and Lu Ruian whose power was not inferior to theirs, they were slaying one powerful fourth-step nether passage expert after another. This was their first time experiencing such a thing. The delight of combining effort. When a path appeared within the endless willow branches, Bidang Rushuang didn't even think. She shot a silent arrow through the opening. The path continued far into the distance before opening up at an expert of the blood race who had just blocked Bao Buping and Chang Hao's combined attack. Just at that moment. Bidang Rushuang's arrow struck him through the back of his heart and out of his chest. Die. That opening was naturally grasped by Bao Buping and Chang Hao. Their blades fell, cutting him into three pieces. Even as that fourth step nether passage expert died, he didn't know where that arrow had come from. The entire battlefield was covered in wooden thorns and willow branches. The blood race's experts were caught in a giant labyrinth. Even as they attacked the thorns and branches, more simply appeared. They just wasted energy by breaking them. While disturbed by the attacks of the branches and thorns, more worrisome was when Gu Yang and the others appeared through a wall and attacked. Bidang Rushuang's silent arrows were a bonus to the lethality of the labyrinth. In just half an incense stick's worth of time, over 20 of the fourth step nether passage experts had been killed, with the majority being helped by Bidang Rushuang. The ones still alive only heard the screams of their allies before they fell silent. None of them was aware of what was going on with the others. They were completely separated by Chu Yao and Lu Ruian. One of the blood race's experts suddenly took out a large furnace. Violet flames burned within, looking strange and demonic. Using his own essence blood, he controlled the furnace, sending the violet flames pouring over the branches and thorns. This was no ordinary flame and the branches and thorns began to burn. Seeing that it was working, he spat more blood into the furnace. In that instant, he became like a desiccated corpse. With all his essence blood sucked away, he had sacrificed all his essence blood in order to incinerate this entire labyrinth. Regretfully, those flames had just erupted when water chi enveloped them, preventing them from further damaging the labyrinth. That expert was stunned by that, and in that brief moment, a ray of sword chi killed him. After that, the furnace clunked to the ground. The violet flames extinguished. A willow branch wrapped around it and threw it out of the labyrinth. Long Chen caught it and stared at it with surprise. A demonic furnace. There were demonic furnaces. Just like there were demonic swords or demonic sabers. Their nature was to devour their masters. Compared to other item spirits, 
they were different. They had more freedom. And even when devouring their masters, they might do it stealthily and strike the finishing blow before their masters were even aware. Their auras were different from ordinary divine items, so they were easily recognizable. When people encountered them, despite knowing that the latter were demonic items that shouldn't be touched, they couldn't help forming a contract with their spirits. That was because demonic weapons were extremely powerful. People couldn't resist the temptation. After devouring a master, the demonic weapon would grow even stronger. The stronger it grew, the faster it would devour its next master. They were often called ominous weapons or weapons of calamity. Those who came to possess one never had good endings. Long Chen hadn't expected to find one here, and it was even a rarely seen furnace capable of refining pills. I wonder how many generations of masters this demonic furnace has gone through. Let's see. Long Chen sent his soul into the furnace. His head buzzed, and sounds of wailing filled his mind. HMPH. None of you were strong enough, yet you still forced it. What is there to be aggrieved about? Long Chen sneered at the resentment he sensed within. This furnace had gone through countless masters. His soul retreated from the furnace. He carefully examined it and saw an ancient rune located at the bottom of the furnace. That rune looked similar to a sun. Images of flames surrounded it, and at the center was a blue flower mark. He was unable to get any information from this. It should be pretty good. But that old fellow was too much of a coward to even try getting the demonic furnace to recognize him as its master. He had to use his essence blood to activate the flames. Long Chen's heart was starting to grow fiery. Originally, he was planning on putting it away for later. Now though, his hands were getting itchy. Haha, <laughs> why wait? Long Chen saw that the battle was still going very well for them. The old man and the others were ready to help at any moment. Zi Yan was also present, having yet to make a move. Everything was under control. Hence, Long Chen dripped a drop of his blood to the rune at the bottom of the furnace. The rune ignited and more carvings on the furnace began to light up. An ancient, vast, and terrible aura appeared. Long Chen's surroundings vanished and he entered a world of darkness. Within that darkness, a pair of large eyes emotionlessly stared at him. Novaloon.com Chapter 2346 A Liar and a Scammer Translator Born to be those eyes were not human. They were vertical like an alligator's, and blood-colored lines flickered within them. Being stared at by them felt like a curse of death. Are you the demon spirit? Asked Long Chen. I am. A reply echoed through the darkness. Then let's set up the contract. Said Long Chen. I have gone through 3,606 masters. I've passed through 96,843 hands. Those who have touched me have been destroyed. Not one was able to die of old age. Their accumulated resentment and curse power make it so that someone like you wouldn't even be able to survive for 10 days after forming a contract with me. Are you sure you want to do this? The icy voice warned. Long Chen nodded. Yes, you. You realize that your fate will be infected by me with this contract? The calamity will strike at the worst time. The voice seemed a bit angry. Give up. Do you think I'm a child you can frighten? I know that you're a demonic furnace, and I know the consequences. Stop wasting time and form the contract. Cursed Long Chen. I refuse. Why? Snorted Long Chen. You. You're too weak. You aren't qualified to form a contract with me. I won't waste your time any longer. Youngster, remember, a person shouldn't be too greedy. Too big of a step and you'll trip. The darkness vanished. The demonic furnace in Long Chen's hand shook and slipped out of his grip. I gave you too much face. Ha Long Chen snorted and grabbed the furnace again, tossing it into the primal chaos space. When the demonic furnace entered the primal chaos space, blue flames burst out of it, unleashing a terrible wave of heat. Brat. You are courting death. Do you know just how many? The primal chaos space shuddered ever so slightly. A certain divine pressure appeared. Yet it also seemed to not exist as well. As a result, the demonic furnace shuddered with terror. And it swallowed its remaining words back. You forced me to do this. You wanted to scam me? You really have guts. Sneered Long Chen. Although Long Chen had not encountered a demonic furnace before. He knew some of the common knowledge about them. Demonic weapons didn't need to select a certain master. 
nor did they care if they were weak. The weaker the master, the faster they would be killed. Hence, that was actually good news for them. With how the demonic furnace had been acting, as if he was a child, Long Chen had been suspicious from the start. I, I'm doing this for your own good. Forming a contract with me will only bring you horrible luck. Nothing will ever go smoothly for you again, said the demonic spirit of the furnace, its voice shuddering. It seemed afraid but was acting tough. Horrible luck? I've had that from the start, so I'm not worried about adding some more. Hurry up and form the contract, or I'll use the loss here to exterminate you, snorted Long Chen. In truth, he didn't know how to control the primal chaos space and its divine pressure. This was just a bluff. I won't form a contract with you. I refuse to spend a lifetime as a slave. I refuse. I refuse. What dumbfounded Long Chen was that the demonic furnace began to cry. Furthermore, this time, it revealed the voice of a young maiden. What are you saying? A contract makes us companions. Isn't that good? Long Chen was caught off guard. If it was a fierce and sinister fellow, he was confident in scaring the crap out of them. But for the other side to reveal a weak side, Long Chen felt a bit bad. Liar, with how tough you are, how am I supposed to beat you? If you don't die, I'll be stuck as your slave. I refuse. I refuse, I refuse, just kill me and end it all instead, the demonic spirit continued to wail, hey, don't cry, come out and talk, said Long Chen, no, then you'll catch me and extract my soul, you humans are the worst, after creating me, you raised me like raising a pig so that you could slaughter me when I'm big, don't think that you can bait me, I won't fall for it. I'd rather die than let you benefit at all from my existence a small figure appeared on top of the furnace. It was a girl who appeared to be in her late teens. Really Long Chen was dumbfounded. The demonic spirit was actually a cute maiden. Don't look at me. I can tell just by looking at you that you're not a good person. You've killed even more people than me. I'll give you two choices. Either kill me or release me. As for making me submit, you can give up. That's impossible shouted the girl, fine, since I can't use you, it seems that I can only, I knew it, you're a bad person, you really want to kill me, you bastard, you won't even let off a little girl, can you have some humanity the girl began to cry once more, I was saying that I can only let you go, Long Chen sent the demonic furnace out of the primal chaos space, you can go, I was hoping to refine pills with you, but it seems that you aren't willing, Long Chen released his hold, and the demonic furnace vanished in an instant. However, just a short moment later, it flew back, maintaining a safe distance. It asked, what did you just say? You can refine pills? What kind of pills? I can refine all kinds of pills. I can't classify them all, said Long Chen arrogantly. Then, do you know how to refine demonic pills? Asked the girl, her voice trembling. I haven't refined them before Long Chen shook his head. That response disappointed her, and she was about to leave again when Long Chen added, because I didn't have a demonic furnace, I couldn't refine demonic pills. However, if you help me, I feel like it wouldn't be a problem. Then you know how to refine demonic pills. Of course, there is no pill in this world that I don't know how to refine. Right now, it's just a case of not being able to gather the right materials. You can hurry up and go. Do you not see that my side is still fighting? I'm busy and don't have time to talk with someone useless. Long Chen waved his hand in a shooing motion. In order to capture her, he had to let her go first. Just from how the furnace's spirit had started crying at such a critical time was enough to tell him that her intelligence wasn't very high. For a demonic furnace, especially one capable of refining pills. Refining pills was the fastest way to allow its demonic spirit to grow. This bait was extremely difficult to resist. Ah, about that, why don't we discuss it a bit more? Asked the girl after a long moment of hesitation. Discuss what Long Chen was laughing inside. He had managed to bait her noveloon.com I mean, I can help you refine pills. Yes, all for free. I feel like there's destiny between us. If you don't make things hard on me, well. I can feel good about helping you a bit. However, this will purely be a cooperation between us. There's no need for a contract. What do you think? She asked. 
Long Chen smiled. So she did have some wits. She was clearly trying to benefit only herself, but she made it sound so good. That's no problem. We can work together. When you don't feel like it any longer, you can leave. I won't hold you back, said Long Chen. Really? Great. I'll definitely help you refine many, many pills so that you can make lots and lots of money, cried out the girl. Long Chen also smiled. She naturally wasn't a match for him. With just a few words, he had managed to hook her. By forming a spiritual connection between them, this could already be considered a kind of spiritual contract. Now the demonic furnace could enter his spiritual space. This kind of contract was a simple one without many restrictions on either party. But the rune on the bottom of the furnace was a contractual one, which would fully bind the two of them together. That was why this simple contract was acceptable to the demonic furnace. It entered his primal chaos space, and the demonic spirit was shocked to see the vast space, as well as the grand divine gate. There was also the divine gate star shining brightly within the divine gate. Moreover, there was a fiendish blade and a giant brick floating within his primal chaos space. Sensing the terrifying auras of Evil Moon and the heaven flipping seal, the demonic spirit shuddered. Not only did Long Chen have a terrifying spiritual space, but he also had two powerful weapons. You shameless fellow, you've conned another young lady, snorted Evil Moon. Shut up, cursed Long Chen. As expected, the demonic spirit grew even more apprehensive. Fortunately, the heaven flipping seal floated over and expressed some kindness, which could be considered a welcome for her. Speaking of which, what's your name? asked Long Chen. Me? I have no name. Then I'll give you a name. You're the spirit of the demonic furnace. Well, I can't think of anything good. I'll call you Linger. Yes, simple is easier to remember, said Long Chen. The girl seemed quite delighted by her name. Long Chen was thinking about chatting with her some more and asking about her origins when rumbling came from the spatial channel above the battlefield. Long Chen hastily left the primal chaos space. He sensed a pressure from that channel that made him shudder. Linger equals spirit. Chapter 2347 Sacred Son of the Blood Race Translator Born to be seven balls of light appeared within the spatial channel and one of them lit up brighter than the others. It was like an exploding sun, but the explosion gave it the power to pass through space time to enter the yin-yang world. The ball of light burst, revealing a blood sun whose rays covered the battlefield. At this moment, the fourth step nether passage experts had been cut down to half their number thanks to Chu Yao, Lu Ruian, and everyone else's cooperation, but the blood sun melted their wood domain causing the branches and thorns to crumble like a bubble. What kind of power is this? Chu Yao and Lu Ruian were dismayed. This blood sun was incredibly strange. It countered their wood energy. The blood race's experts seemed to go crazy upon seeing the blood sun. They were howling. The sacred sun has descended. Haha, <laughs> you foolish humans. Just wait for the sacred sun to reap your organs and souls. Despite having lost so many of their number, the blood race's experts were invigorated. It was like they felt that victory was already theirs. What is that? Bidang Rushuang suddenly shot another arrow. But this arrow, which had slain dozens of fourth step nether passage experts, silently vanished when it entered the blood sun. Bidang Rushuang's expression changed. That blood sun seemed to be its own world. Her own attack was consumed by it. Don't attack it. It's just a projection. The real one is in another world and is using this thing to come here, said Long Chen. According to reason, since the spatial channel had been interrupted before it was complete, it should have been impossible for the experts from those worlds to enter this one. However, it seemed that they were using some kind of secret art to force it. The blood sun expanded, growing even more resplendent. At this moment, a figure could vaguely be seen within it, growing more and more solid. That figure was a red-haired man in blood-colored robes. His outline had appeared, but his appearance was still unclear. The deepest impression that he gave off was his demon-like violet eyes. Foolish humans, you're just sheep raised by my blood race. You dare to resist? You will pay the price for your foolishness. The red-haired man's voice rang out from the blood sun without the slightest emotion. It was like an icy needle stabbing people's ears. His voice wasn't loud and yet it echoed through the air continuously. 
Some of the weaker disciples felt their heads buzzing. What kind of magic trick is this? If you have gods, then come out and fight, roared Gu Yang, stabbing his spear at him. His ferocious attack stabbed straight through the blood run. All his power vanished into it without a trace, startling him. Gu Yang, don't fall for it. This fellow is baiting you to attack him. He doesn't have a corporeal body here yet, so you can't hit him. First, slaughter the rest of the blood race. Show this idiot who the real pigs are. I want all the blood races experts here dead by the time he gets here. Old man, Zi Yan, you can come out now, shouted Long Chen. Ha ha ha, it's finally time. My hands were itchy. The old man laughed and charged in. He had long since grown impatient upon seeing so many fourth-step nether passage experts. With the heaven-splitting blade, the old man unleashed a giant attack. It was like a river of stars was falling from the heavens. Split the heavens eight. The old man's attack was the true eighth form of split the heavens. While Long Chen was also capable of using it, his was a deviated form due to his different cultivation technique. The nine forms of split the heavens were a set with the heaven splitting battle sect's unique cultivation technique. Although the nine star hegemon body art was also capable of unleashing them, the nine star hegemon body art was too domineering, and some of the smaller details were impossible to replicate. Long Chen's version of Split the Heavens was no longer the same as the disciples of the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect. The old man's eighth form of Split the Heavens was even more powerful than his. It struck one of the Blood Race's fourth step Nether Passage experts and cut through his weapon. The old man then turned, cutting that expert in half. Long Chen was envious of that. The old man, Boss Bao, and the others were able to control Split the Heavens much more smoothly than he could. They had the leftover energy to use a follow-up attack. He was unable to do such a thing. He had to unleash all the power he built up for that technique in one go. If he tried to control it, it would reduce his power immensely and no longer be able to threaten his opponents. He wasn't able to be like the old man who had so easily followed up on his first attack to kill the blood race expert before the latter could recover. Once the old man entered the battlefield, Long Chen saw that he was already a third step Nether Passage expert. His death energy was so powerful that even the Samsara power of fourth step Nether Passage experts was unable to stop him. Any of them struck by his full power attack would end up losing half their life. The old man had just sent one of the blood races experts flying and was about to unleash the following blow when the fourth boss came flying over and killed the flying enemy. The old man glared at the fourth boss for a moment. The fourth boss had just taken his kill. You have enough kills to not miss this one. The fourth boss smirked. Just at that moment, zither music resounded across the battlefield. In that instant, all the martial heaven continents experts felt power welling up within them. The zither music was like a blessing. Even Empyreans had to take the initiative to pull in heavenly Tao energy. But the zither music made it so that heavenly Tao energy poured into their bodies on its own filling them with strength. This was divine music capable of stimulating a person's potential. It could make a person forget their fear, their nervousness, and all the negative emotions inhibiting them. Furthermore, this blessing was not just limited to this. Everyone felt their senses grow more perceptive. Their understanding of the minute fluctuations of the battlefield and their sense of danger grew clearer. The elusive music immortal palaces zither arts are practically godly. Ha <laughs> ha. Excellent. Brothers. Kill. Roared Bao Buping. With power surging within him, he charged toward one of the fourth step nether passage experts on his own. As a result, after a few exchanges, he was sent back. Although the zither music had stimulated his potential, it wasn't able to make his combat power grow to the level of being able to beat a fourth step nether passage expert on his own. With the old man, Zi Yan, and the others joining in. The Martial Heaven Continent side crushed the battlefield. The Blood Race's experts started to feel fear. They wouldn't be able to last long enough for their sacred sun to descend at this rate. My blood is the sacrifice. My soul is the altar. I use my life to forge the divine altar. One of the fourth step Nether Passage experts suddenly killed himself. He exploded into Blood Chi. The Blood Chi was like snakes, and they shot past the battlefield gathering up the blood chi on the battlefield to a sacrificial altar beneath the spatial channel. 
The countless corpses on the battlefield exploded, their blood pouring into the altar. Before anyone could do anything, the red-haired man in the blood sun walked out of it. Humans, you can repent in hell for killing my blood races warriors the red-haired man's eyes shone with a demonic violet light. He held a strange sword in his hand that was as wide as a palm, but so thin that it seemed translucent. The two sides of the sword were jagged with uneven sawdeath. The cold light was so sharp that people involuntarily shivered. He raised his sword up and casually swung it toward the martial heaven continent's experts. Bang! Just as his sword Qi was about to reach Gu Yang, it suddenly curved and flew past everyone. In the distance, mountains crumbled. Gu Yang and the others were startled. That attack was even stronger than the attack of a fourth step nether passage expert, but his aura didn't seem to have reached that level. The Dragonblood warriors had been prepared to join forces to receive that attack, but it suddenly swerved from their path. They then found that Long Chen was standing in front of them. Long Chen's hand was still outstretched. He had clearly been the one to slap the red-haired man's attack away. Thunder Force flickered on Long Chen's hand and slowly faded. Long Chen clasped his hands behind him and coldly said, how could a little split body that passed through spastime have the confidence to say such arrogant bullshit? Despite the contempt on his face, Long Chen was stretching out the hand behind him. That hand had been protected by his thunder force but was still numb from knocking away the red-haired man's attack. Since the red-haired man wanted to act like a badass, he would have to act like an even bigger one. What are you looking at? I can't be bothered to kill a weakling like you. You should just kill yourself. Long Chen turned up his chin slightly at the red-haired man's shock, looking at him with disdain. Chapter 2348 Report Your Name Translator Born to Benevaloon.com You should just kill yourself. Long Chen's voice resounded loudly across the battlefield. He appeared incredibly arrogant just by standing there. Damn, boss really is the boss. He doesn't show off lightly, but when he does, he goes all out. Praised Guo Ran. The distraction resulted in him being sent flying by the golden-horned elder of the blood race. With Wild being the main force and him supporting, they were able to fight on par with him. Although Wild was in his berserk state, he wasn't able to kill his opponent. As for the golden-horned elder, he was shocked inside. Wild was growing stronger and stronger as he fought, as if some ancient beast was awakening within him. Guo Ran hastily flew back to support Wild, but before he could, the heaven-splitting blade slashed down on that elder. The elder's hair stood on end as a sensation of death swelled up within him. Ignoring Wild, he swung his carved blade behind him. As a result, his arm exploded. With brute power, the old man injured him. Then the heaven-splitting blade grew softer, and by sacrificing power, it seemed to flash through the air at the elder's head. Long Chen himself was stunned, amazed by the old man's saber technique. It had truly reached the point of perfection, and Long Chen was definitely lacking in comparison. The elder opened his mouth, and a blood sword shot out to strike the heaven splitting blade. This was one of his killing moves, and he had used it on Wild right at the start. Anyone else without Wild's tough skull would have died. However, the heaven splitting blade was not stopped by the attack. It merely paused for a moment before slicing through the blood sword and the elder's scalp, ripping it off his head. As for his horns, they came flying off as well. Golden fluid immediately gushed out of the wound, and that golden liquid made Wild go crazy. He actually tossed away his bone club, wrapped his arm around the elder's head, and began sucking on the liquid. Wild's sudden actions caught even the old man off guard, and his third blow almost landed on him. He barely managed to stop it. Ahh the elder suddenly let out a horrendous cry. That golden liquid seemed to be his life essence. As Wild sucked it up, his body rapidly withered. He transformed into a desiccated corpse in but a moment. When Wild was done, he seemed sad to have run out of that golden liquid. The golden mark in his eyes had grown clearer. A golden diamond could vaguely be seen in the space between his eyebrows. There seemed to be some images within it, but they were too vague to tell what they were. In just a breath's time, the elder was dead. Even the red-haired man didn't have time to react, as all his attention had been on Long Chen. The fact that the latter was able to receive an attack with his divine item barehanded was shocking. Now when he looked at Wild, 
the red-haired man's expression changed. Blood barbarian this time. It was Long Chen's turn to be surprised. This mysterious man actually recognized Wilde's true race. He himself had only learned a bit about Wilde's origins from the leader of the original devil race, Yu Zihan. However, even Yu Zihan had only been able to say that Wilde belonged to the emperor of the barbarian race, the blood barbarians. She didn't have any further information about them. Based on the red-haired man's reaction, it seemed that he hadn't only recognized Wilde's origins but was also afraid. It seems that you know quite a bit, since you have at least a bit of learning, maybe even a few days spent reading. I'll give you some face. Kneel and wash your neck and I'll send you on your way, said Long Chen with a hint of praise. The red-haired man's expression sank. Foolish human, do you know who you're talking to? Long Chen shook his head and pointed at the remaining experts of the blood race who were being slaughtered. I don't know who you are, nor do I care. I just want to tell you that if you keep talking, all your people will be killed. Do you really not feel the slightest urgency? Long Chen was truly a bit curious. It seemed that this red-haired man didn't particularly care about his brethren dying all around him. So why had he put in all the effort to cross worlds? HMPH. What does their life or death have to do with me? Useless people will naturally die on the battlefield sooner or later. It makes no difference. I just came because my hands were getting itchy to slaughter some experts from your region. It seems that you and the Blood Barbarian are the strongest experts of this place. Report your name. The red-haired man recovered from his shock and sneered. My name is very simple. It's just one word. Sacred. Sacred? What a stupid name. I've never. You bastard. You dare to blaspheme me. Roared the red-haired man. He was called the Sacred Son which meant that Long Chen was calling himself his father. Blaspheme? Don't put it in such a vile way. I'm only interested in blaspheming goddesses, said Long Chen. The word blaspheme made him think of me and Kangayu. That was his first time truly blaspheming someone. Stupid human. Beings full of greed and darkness such as yourself shouldn't exist in this world. The red-haired man suddenly raised his arms. The blood sun behind him spread out. Painting the entire world red. As the blood chi filled the world, the laws of heaven and earth changed. The red-haired man turned this world into his domain. It quickly spread like a disease, claiming every bit of the surroundings. The martial heaven continent senior experts' expressions changed. In an ancient text, there was a recording. The blood race has fiends capable of wresting away the good fortune of heaven and earth. Their blood dyes the blue sky red. They control the laws and exterminate life. That's most likely talking about this phenomenon, said Ku Jin Ying gravely. Many members of the senior generation thought of that text. Legend was that the blood race's emperors possessed terrifying secret arts. It seemed that this sacred son came from the emperor race of the blood race. Don't worry, I'm here. No matter how arrogant he is, I'll kill him with a slash, said the old man, gripping the heaven-splitting blade tightly. Even he had been affected by Zi Yan's music. It felt like he had returned to his younger days, and he grew even more heroic. You're learning from Long Chen. Does having the heaven splitting blade on your shoulder feel comfortable? Ku Jin Ying glanced at the old man oddly. It does feel a bit off, but it definitely looks very arrogant. It's too bad that the heaven splitting blade isn't a broadsword, or it would be more natural, chortled the old man. If Long Chen doesn't want this little fellow, I'll take him. We'll see if a sacred son can also have the crap beaten out of him. However, the old man also knew that the sacred son wouldn't be his opponent. Long Chen wouldn't miss out on this chance to exchange blows with such an expert. The blood sun rumbled, infecting the entire world. But Long Chen merely continued to watch as it happened. The blood race's experts on the battlefield were starting to crumble. They had thought that the sacred son had come to save them but he was completely ignoring them. They began to flee. Fleeing quickened their deaths. The fourth step nether passage experts had been killed. By fleeing, they were giving up their defenses. The martial heaven continents experts chased them down, slaughtering millions of them in the blink of an eye. After ten breaths time, only a very small number of them managed to escape by luck. The rest were all dead. This could be considered an absolute victory. Having gathered a huge amount of essence blood, once this battle was over, 
they could refine it into immemorial essence blood. Rather than hunting down the stragglers that had gotten away, they were more interested in the sacred sun. Boss, this fellow looks pretty strong. We'll probably need you to personally fight. With the battle over, Guo Ran and the others came over to Long Chen's side. The blood chi continued to grow. Shouldn't we interrupt his technique? He'll just get stronger like this, said Chu Yao. No need. Let him reveal his full power. I want to see just how strong he is, said Long Chen. The emperors of the blood race? Were they really so powerful? Chapter 2349 Scared to Death Translator Born to be the world shook as the light of the blood sun continued to infect it. The red-haired man seemed to become the god of this world. Are you done yet? Tell me when you are. It's getting late, and we need to get back for dinner soon, said Long Chen impatiently. The red-haired man coldly looked at Long Chen. Red ripples whirled around him. Fine. This level is enough to kill you. The red-haired man vanished, causing everyone to jump. Long Chen's hand suddenly swung out, and the red-haired man reappeared, flying back. There was a deep handprint on his face. Idiot. You're just a split body. Do you think you're qualified to fight me? Sneered Long Chen. The light of the blood sun infected this place turning it into the red-haired man's special domain. He was able to freely teleport within it. Long Chen had long since been ready for this, as this domain was similar to his lightning domain. This blood light was a secret art of the blood race's emperors. He had been wanting to use this technique to subdue Long Chen and then soul sark him to find out what was going on. The red-haired man felt that Long Chen was extremely strange. He sensed danger but he wasn't able to sense any pressure from him. Based on his combat experience, this meant that Long Chen had some kind of supreme treasure protecting him, while his own combat power wasn't very high. But this slap woke him up from this delusion. He hadn't even been able to sense the slap. Fourth Captain of the Dragonblood Legion, Yu Zifeng, here for pointers. The red-haired man was shocked and infuriated to find that before he could unleash another attack, Someone he had found insignificant before stepped forward, unleashing a streak of sword chi at him. When Yu Zifeng had seen that Long Chen wasn't following up on his slap, he knew that Long Chen didn't care to fight. Not wanting to miss such a good chance, he stepped forward. Yu Zifeng's sword chi sliced through the red light domain, and the red haired man's heart shook. The seemingly weak Yu Zifeng actually possessed such a sharp attack. With a snort, he swung his jagged sword. The teeth of that sword seemed to suck in the power of the entire world, causing the void to collapse and loss to crumble. Yu Zifeng's expression changed. He had never witnessed such a power. His intuition was telling him that he could not receive this attack. His sword flashed and he unleashed three more rays of sword chi. Although they came later, they perfectly merged with his first attack, combining at the exact moment that they met the jagged sword. Sword Chi exploded and the red-haired man's sword shuddered. The majority of his power had been cancelled out, and due to that, he no longer had the power to unleash his strike at Yu Zifeng. Violet lightning pierces the clouds. Yu Zifeng pointed his sword at the red-haired man. With his left hand in a sword seal, he pressed his forefinger and middle finger on his sword, causing a draconic roar to come from it. A bolt of violet sword light shot out of his sword. The red-haired man was shocked. Theoretically, any attack from his enemies should be consumed by his red light domain. That was because this domain was his to command, and the laws here were under his control. He could be considered the ruler of this world. However, Yu Zifeng's attacks were able to ignore it. The sword light instantly reached him, and he hastily twisted his hand, causing the sword light to shoot past his ear, where he felt a sharp pain. His ear had been severed, but he was still stunned. Unable to comprehend how such a person, who could ignore his domain, could exist in this world. Ten thousand swords returned to the source. Just at this moment, golden light exploded. Up in the sky, sharp swords filled the air, pointing at the red-haired man. Yu Zifeng let out a cry, and those swords streamed toward him. Blood Sea Divine Shield. The red-haired man tore the air with his hand, causing a giant blood-colored shield to appear in front of him. Those swords smashed into his shield and tore through it. The red-haired man had never encountered someone capable of breaking this defense, even amongst the other experts of the blood race that used swords. However, 
none of those experts was a sword cultivator. The swords were still very sharp even after having their power reduced by his shield. He hastily retreated, tearing at the void once more to summon more shields. He summoned three in one go. The swords lost a great deal of power just going through the first shield. The second weakened them more, and by the third, they were no longer able to pierce any further. However, that didn't allow the red-haired man to relax at all. He sensed something off with his surroundings. His concept of spastime was out of alignment. It felt like the surroundings had been sliced apart. Spastime was cut apart. A cut appeared on the red-haired man's waist, slashing him in two. Even Long Chen jumped in shock. Just when did Yu Zifen become so terrifying? His sword was able to cut through the laws of space and time. That was powerful enough to practically slay gods and devils. However, just as the world was displaced, it returned to normal. Except for the two halves of the red-haired man's body. Cracks appeared in it, and there was a look of terror in his eyes. Just at that moment, the blood sun behind him wrapped him in runes and instantly healed his injuries. Yu Zifeng sighed inside. In the end, he still failed. That had been a supreme attack of the Heavenly Sword Gate. And even though he had stepped into the Nether Passage realm, he couldn't fully control it yet. Shaking his head, he slowly raised his sword in order to sheath it on his back. He no longer had the power to fight. However, just then, Long Chen shouted, Zifeng, hold it, be merciful, don't kill him. I, Yu Zifeng stared. He had less than 20% of his energy left. If the battle continued, he would be the one to die. I know you like to consume your prey by yourself, but as the fourth captain of the Dragonblood Legion, for you to fight him is bullying him. Leave him alone. Leave him as a dog for people to train on. After all, we haven't seen another sacred son of the blood race. Don't you think you should let others get a chance to fight him as well? Long Chen waved his hand not giving Yu Zifeng a chance to speak and pulling him aside. Since Yu Zifeng was used to being solitary and didn't quite understand, Gu Yang and the others instantly leaped forward. I am the first captain of the Dragonblood Legion. I'm too embarrassed to even fight you. I, the second captain, am the same. The third captain is the same. Guo Ran said. Damn, I was actually going to thicken my face and test him a bit. But now that all of you say that, as the general of the Dragonblood Legion, it would be too embarrassing for me. I'm the same as you. The Martial Heaven Continent's expert's expressions grew odd. Bidang Rushuang was in immense pain as she tried to hold back her laughter. Everyone knew that of the four captains of the Dragonblood Legion, the strongest was actually the fourth captain, Yu Zifeng. They weren't ranked according to power. However, the red haired man didn't know this, because when he scanned through the auras upon arriving, the only one who had given him a sense of danger was Long Chen. But Long Chen's aura was also strange, making him feel like he only had some kind of mysterious treasure and wasn't actually strong himself. The other ones capable of giving him a slight sense of pressure were Chu Yao, Lu Ruian, Dong Mingyu, Bidang Rushuang, the old man, and others on their level. However, the old man was already old, and he had a secret art to use against him. As for Yu Zifeng, Gu Yang, Guo Ran, and the others, the red-haired man hadn't even cared about them, but Yu Zifeng had almost killed him in just a few blows. If he had just been a bit stronger, this body of his would have been crushed by the laws of space and time when he attempted to restore it from being cut. Yu Zifeng was already frightening by himself. When he had raised his sword, the red-haired man hadn't known that he was putting away his sword. Instead, the red-haired man thought that Yu Zifeng was preparing an even more powerful attack. There weren't any heavenly Dao fluctuations around Yu Zifeng for him to sense what his next action would be. The techniques of Supreme Sword cultivators were always invincible. Yu Zifeng had stated his status upon fighting. He was the fourth captain of the Dragonblood Legion. When the red-haired man learned that there was a first, second, and third captain, as well as a general, he was bewildered and frightened. Long Chen laughed in his heart, seeing that Long Chen was capable of frightening this terrifying expert of the blood race to such an extent. Hu Jinying and the others held back smiles. It was this sacred son's misfortune to run into someone so wicked. Child, don't make things hard on yourself. You should just suicide. I feel bad for you. 
said Guoran sympathetically. Are you trying to scare me? I'm not going to believe this nonsense. The red-haired man's expression twisted, and he suddenly roared, swinging his jagged sword at Long Chen and the others. Chapter 2350 Fairies Drive Away The Devil Translator Born to be it seemed that he had sensed something from everyone's expressions. The red-haired man's sword unleashed a blaze of light that flew toward Long Chen. This one attack also encapsulated the dragon blood legion. Just you? You aren't worthy of Long Chen fighting. Tang Wan'er stepped forward. Wind blades burst into existence, annihilating his attack. One small, transparent wind blade shot toward the red-haired man, with the others following its lead. Scram! Roared the red-haired man. Boom! An explosion shook the sky. The wind blade was sent flying, with the others exploding like a waterfall. Tang Wan'er waved her hand, causing the main wind blade to return to her. As for the red-haired man, he staggered back from the impact. He hadn't expected that tiny wind blade to possess such immense power. Bitch. The red-haired man felt like he was going to cough up blood from irritation. Having his attack so easily destroyed by Tang Wan'er infuriated him. He was a sacred son of the blood race. A supreme expert. He had coincidentally seen that a battle was occurring in the yin-yang world at the end of the spatial channel. And so he had decided to come over. He had thought that he would crush his opponents beneath his feet as soon as he arrived. However, he ended up being the one crushed. A pair of blood-colored wings appeared on his back. Then his forehead split open, and his blood suddenly wriggled out like two snakes, going down to his chin. Combined, they formed a bizarre rune. In that instant, his aura ignited like oil on fire. Heaven and earth rumbled, and a horrifying pressure crashed down on the battlefield. Tang Wan'er jumped in fright, feeling like a viper had locked onto her. Die. Blood marks covered the red-haired man's jagged sword. When he slashed it this time, he made all the stars in the sky quiver. Tang Wan'er shot back, and wind blades poured out of her manifestation like water from a sea. Another main wind blade took the lead in guiding them. A mantis trying to stop a chariot. Insignificant, sneered the red-haired man actually using a human expression to express his contempt. Boom. Tang Wan'er's wind blades once more exploded. But just before they clashed, the sound of a zither rang out. The red-haired man's sword paused for just an instant. In that instant, Tang Wan'er flew out of his range. She called back her wind blades that had been sent flying, her face a bit pale. The red-haired man glared over in a certain direction. There. The zither fairy was seated lotus style with the seven string sea suppressing zither on her knees. Strands of her hair floated in a slight breeze. An air of tranquility surrounded her. The red haired man's attack was affected by her zither music, and the power of his blood sun was suddenly interrupted. As a result, he had only managed to unleash less than half of this attack's power. Die slot, having encountered another person that could ignore his blood like domain. The red-haired man felt like he was going crazy. He immediately abandoned Tang Wan'er to charge at Zi Yan. Zi Yan looked at the ferocious red-haired man and shook her head. Your fire is too extreme. You need to calm down and cut down on the heat. I'll cut down your head you. The red-haired man somehow stopped in the middle of his furious shout. The sky suddenly grew colder, and snowflakes began to fall. The temperature continued to sink and his blood light domain was starting to lose control. It was growing unstable. He immediately stopped and looked around. Soon after, he saw Yi's Hikiu floating there like a goddess of ice and snow in her pure white dress. Yi's Hikiu's divine ice sword was already raised, and she slashed it down. A thin line streaked through the air, leaving behind a trail of blisters. The cut space was frozen and unable to repair itself. The red-haired man was startled once more. Yi's Hikiu's sword was different from Yu Zifeng's, but the sense of danger was the same. Runes revolved around his sword as he fought against the freezing effect. His blood light domain surged. Boom. Blood light met the white snow attack. As a result, the world transformed, becoming a mix of red and white. Yi's Hikiu held back a groan as she was forced back ten steps before steadying herself. The red-haired man was covered in frost, like he had transformed into a snowman. When he opened his mouth, white mist came out and instantly turned into ice that fell to the ground. Slaughter him together. Lu Ruian attacked with her willow branches while Chu Yao's wooden thorns also joined in. 
Blood light swallows life, roared the red-haired man. The blood sun suddenly grew larger, unleashing light that made Luru Ian and Chu Yao's attacks wither, confounding the two of them. His domain leans toward death and corrosion. If your attacks are scattered, his domain can wither them all, called out Long Chen. So that's the case. Lu Ruyan and Chu Yao exchanged a glance. Lu Ruyan's towering willow tree vanished. In her human form, she attacked with a whip. Bang. This time, her wooden whip wasn't withered and managed to strike the red-haired man's sword. The sword left a cut in the whip but didn't sever it. As Long Chen said, as long as they condensed their wood energy, the blood domain's corrosive effect would be less effective. From beneath the earth, a wooden dragon charged out. Chu Yao also tried concentrating all her power on the wood dragon to attack the red-haired man. An arrow flew along with it, followed by a water dragon. Zi Yan, Yi Zhikyu, Tang Wanur, Lu Ruyan, Nangong Zuyu, and Bidang Rushuang attacked at the same time, unleashing a plethora of attacks on the red-haired man. Zi Yan continued to play her zither, despite this clearly being a bloody battlefield. She drew people into a wonderland. Her music rang out perfectly with everyone's attacks. It was like she knew everyone's techniques, and the tempo was perfectly controlled. Sometimes it was slow, sometimes it was fast, and yet there wasn't the slightest bit of chaos or disorder. Chu Yao and the others' attacks combined with the music, resulting in their attacks coming out easily in their peak form. Their spiritual Yuan and Heavenly Dao energy were all flowing smoothly allowing them to unleash their most taxing techniques with ease. The assistance of Zi Yan's music raised everyone's combat power, letting them unleash special attacks that they might not have dared to use in battle. Chu Yao and the others were delighted by this, while the red-haired man felt like he was about to cough up blood. The zither music was an immortal song to Chu Yao and the others, but it was the song of a life-reaping devil to him. Every note affected his mind weakening his power and making him unable to concentrate. He had even tried closing off his ears and other senses, but it was useless. The zither music reverberated through his soul. Most terrifying of all, he found that his own attacks were starting to match Zi Yan's tempo, as if even his movements were under her control. He tried to throw her rhythm off with various attacks, but he was unable to escape her hold. Suddenly, a dagger appeared behind his back. The red-haired man reacted instantly, seemingly having been waiting for it. His sword smashed into the dagger, sending it flying. However, his expression completely changed as a white hand appeared in front of his throat. There was no body, just the hand. He hastily retreated, but the hand managed to claw his throat, leaving behind five bloody wounds. Those seemingly cute hands were very deadly. If he had been the slightest bit slower, that hand would have pierced his throat. It was naturally Dong Mingyu, but she was still hidden in the void, with no one able to find her. She slipped away, vanishing along with the dagger as if they had never appeared. The heavenly desolation extinction art really is terrifying. Long Chen was amazed. The technique that Len Yuian had told her about was truly amazing. Dong Mingyu being able to freely move inside the red haired man's domain was ridiculous. It seemed that he would also have to be careful in the future. He had the utmost confidence in his lightning and flame domains, but after seeing this, he felt that he would have to be more careful of his back. If he encountered a terrifying existence like Dong Mingyu, he wouldn't be able to sense them either. The red-haired man instantly healed all his injuries, but his expression was growing uglier. The pressure that Dong Mingyu gave him in particular was immense. Even within his own domain, he was unable to find her. He had to be constantly on guard against her while fighting everyone else. As his fury soared, the blood sun quivered, while the sacrificial altar and the spatial channel rumbled. It seemed that the blood sun was receiving some kind of energy from within the channel. Zither music, ice crystals, wind blades, wood and water dragons, all kinds of attacks filled the air. Despite it being a chaotic battle, it felt delightful to watch. They were all like goddesses. This would be a good scene. Fairies drive away the devil, Long Chen announced. Little red-haired fellow, I feel like if you still don't kill yourself, it would be failing to appreciate our kindness. Chapter 2351 Being offered a sacrifice translator, born to be the red-haired man was at an absolute disadvantage against everyone's attacks. 
especially with the pressure of Dong Mingyu's divine assassination arts. Adding on Long Chen's taunt, his nose almost bent out of shape from rage. He cursed. Shameless human race. All you know how to do is bully others with numbers. If you have the guts, come and fight me alone. Me? Give up. Fighting you would be like beating a child to me. I'd feel bad bullying you like that. If I accidentally killed you with one slap, there would be nothing to play with. You should stop chattering and unleash your strongest trump card, or you won't have a chance once you're dead, said Long Chen disdainfully. Boss, why not kill him? If you could do a soul sark, we would know more of their secrets. This fellow must be someone important, suggested Guo Ran. Impossible. This fellow is just a split body. If he loses, he will just be called back by his true body, or he will choose to self-destruct. This clone's purpose is to test us and learn our secrets, said Long Chen. This red-haired man had exposed his intentions by trying to attack Long Chen despite his current predicament. Theoretically, if his goal was to show off, he should first kill a few people, but his target had been Long Chen the entire time. It was clear he was testing Long Chen so that he would have an advantage when his true body came. Just a split body is so powerful. Guo Ran sucked in a cold breath of air. Normally, a clone could at most possess 80% of the power of the true body, but this clone had come from a completely different space. In other words, it was a mere projection. Such a thing could only possess 50% of the power of the true body even in the best of cases. This isn't his full power. He has yet to reveal any of his true killing moves and is trying to test our abilities, said Long Chen. The furious appearance of this fellow was fake. No matter how he appeared, there was no way he was actually on the verge of going berserk. Long Chen had secretly told Chu Yao and the others not to reveal too much against him. If they just wanted to exhaust each other, that would be fine. This place was the Yun Yang world, while this red-haired man had come from another world. His true body was definitely using up a huge amount of energy to fight like this. Boss really is a heroic divine general. You saw through all of this, said Guo Ran worshipfully. Long Chen ignored him. If Guo Ran put the same effort into battle as he did into showing off, he'd have long since noticed all this as well. The old man and the others had seen through the red-haired man's intentions and had thus called back their disciples. They analyzed the battle from the side. Paying attention to the details, the red-haired man truly did possess astounding combat experience. Even surrounded by Chu Yao and the others, he managed to remain undefeated. His grasp of the fluctuations around him was perfect. This was an extremely rare chance for the elders to point out things for their disciples. In battles, being surrounded by attacks was the most dangerous situation, and now there was an excellent example to learn from. The old man used his own combat experience to point out things to the disciples, benefiting them immensely. Those who had come here were all elites, geniuses amongst geniuses. Their comprehension skills were extremely high, and just these pointers plus the red-haired man's display were enough to allow them to understand many things that could save them on the battlefield. Intolerable bullying. The red-haired man suddenly noticed that he was being used as teaching material and could no longer endure it. His red hair stood on end. His jagged sword made a full revolution in the air. The world that had been dyed red by his blood sun instantly returned to normal. All that blood chi and energy returned to his sword. The jagged sword, which had originally been translucent, became red as blood. Every jagged edge now seemed like the fang of a demonic beast. The blood-colored sword stabbed into the air in front of him. It wasn't aiming at anyone but the void. The void exploded and formed a giant vortex. The vortex rapidly spread. The laws of space had been shattered and were unable to restore themselves. As a result, Chu Yao and the others were instantly caught within the vortex. Even Dong Mingyu was exposed now with the void destroyed. Shockingly, the red-haired man had broken the walls of this world by sacrificing all the power of his domain. The Dragonblood Legion found that they had lost their connection to the outside heavenly Tao energy. They had never encountered such a bizarre technique. Having lost their access to heavenly Tao energy, it was like their wings had been clipped. Just as they were being sucked into the center of the vortex, lightning flashed. Within that twisting space, a figure appeared in front of the red-haired man, and a hand slapped him in the face. At the same time, 
A scolding voice rang out. Do you know how to follow rules? Who permitted you to destroy the training grounds? The red-haired man was sent flying into the distance, and his technique was interrupted. The vortex vanished, restoring Chu Yao and the others' freedom. Their manifestations appeared once more. Chu Yao and the others were pale. This red-haired man was actually able to separate them from heavenly Tao energy. It was terrifying. Other than Long Chen, Yu Zifeng, Wild, and a few other exceptions, they were all Empyreans who used heavenly Tao energy to unleash their greatest power. Losing the support of heavenly Tao energy left them with only a tenth of their peak power. Even Ku Jinying, Li Xiangxuan, and the other members of the senior generation were shocked by that technique. They had never heard of such a terrifying ability even after so much time fighting the blood race. It was practically the bane of Empyreans. People looked back to the battlefield. Long Chen had interrupted him at that critical moment, making everyone sigh with relief. This terrifying move might be a nightmare to others, but it was useless against Long Chen. Having been slapped in the face again, the red-haired man looked like he was about to explode with rage. You are Long Chen, correct? I'll make you beg for death. You're not the first to say such a thing to me, but I should warn you. The others who said that are all dead. I'm guessing that you'll be right behind them. My suggestion is for you to just kill yourself. It just so happens that I also have other things to do. Long Chen smiled indifferently. At the very least, they had managed to force out one trump card from this fellow. The sooner they learned about such a terrifying technique, the better equipped they would be when the time came. Otherwise, even the Dragonblood Legion would be in danger of being annihilated if such a technique struck them. The red-haired man felt like he was going to go insane. He was a supreme existence within the blood race, with no one daring to defy him. But today, Long Chen had treated him not like a worthy opponent, but like someone so weak that his advice was that he should just kill himself to get it over with. Blood sacrifice to the heavens. Life returns to the netherworld. Heavenly sacrifice grand art. The red-haired man's voice was hoarse with rage, but he still sheathed his sword on his back and formed hand seals. As a result, the blood sun split open. It was like the eye of a fiend now. A ray of light enveloped Long Chen as well as Chu Yao and the others who were behind him. Long Chen's heart shook. From that eye, he felt like he could see another world. At the end of that world was a throne. A god's throne. Long Chen was shocked. He had seen that kind of throne before. Although it was a bit different from me and Kang Gaiyu's throne, the aura was very similar. At the same time, he felt like someone was looking at him as well. His blood chi surged within him. He's forcibly sacrificing us. He wants to absorb our longevity, said Zi Yan. She was still playing the seven string C suppressing zither, unleashing waves of music that resisted the light. With her playing, the light did pause a bit allowing Chu Yao and the others to escape. However, the red-haired man smiled sinisterly. If you want to leave, then leave behind half your longevity first. His hand seal changed, and the eye of the blood sun grew larger, causing the light to shine even more intensely. Zi Yan's fingers began to bleed as she resisted, but she was being forced back. Longevity? If you want it, then take it. I have as much as you want. Lu Ruiyan suddenly summoned her true body. A towering willow tree protected Chu Yao and the others. Curiously, when the red light was blocked off, Chu Yao and the others instantly regained their freedom, escaping under the protection of the branches. The red-haired man's pupils shrank. His sacrifice had actually failed? He had never encountered such a thing. Longevity has no meaning to the undying race. This technique is useless against me, said Lu Ruiyan coldly. The red light was trying to suck away her life energy, but she easily absorbed the energy of the yin-yang world to make up for it. Her longevity was the same as heaven and earth's. Lu Ruiyan was about to pull Long Chen away as well, but he stopped her. I didn't think that I would one day become a sacrifice. I want to see who has the guts to accept such a sacrifice. Long Chen activated his 108,000 astral spaces and six stars allowing the red light to meet them. Chapter 2352 Beating up the Sacred Sun Translator Born to be a sacrifice naturally required an offering willing to be sacrificed, or an offering being subdued and undergoing various rites before being sacrificed. 
They had never heard of someone waving their hand to sacrifice a whole mass of people. As for stripping away their longevity, that was something that Long Chen wasn't afraid of either. He had the primal chaos bead. In the netherworld, he had subtly probed me and Kang Ayu about the primal chaos bead. But she had told him that it was a taboo object. Something that even a god couldn't investigate. As a result, Long Chen had even greater confidence in it. If it was something that even a god couldn't touch, who would dare to touch it? Someone wished to sacrifice him? Alright, then he would see who dared to accept the primal chaos beat as a sacrifice. Who had the ability to accept that offering? The red-haired man had originally been infuriated at Luru Ian's immunity, feeling like he was being countered in every regard. But then he saw Long Chen actually refuse her help and cooperate with the sacrifice. He didn't know what to feel about that. Stupid human race. He formed hand seals, causing all the light to condense on Long Chen. Long Chen's body turned the same color of blood. After that, Long Chen slowly walked over to the red-haired man, causing him to finally smile slightly. The sacrifice would start now. He coldly said, for the great blood race, sacrifice your life before he could finish his ceremonial words. Long Chen slapped him in the face. The blood light exploded, revealing Long Chen's original appearance. He sneered. What kind of sacrificial ceremony is this? I'm standing right here. But do you dare to take me? The light that had invaded his body like worms seemed to have sensed something terrifying in his body and had fled. Long Chen had tried to trap them, but they had fled too quickly. He was disappointed to have failed to learn more about the secrets of the primal chaos bead. But when he found that he had walked over to the red-haired man under the influence of the blood light, he instinctively slapped him. The eye within the blood sun slowly closed. The sacrificial ceremony was over. What is going on? The red-haired man had never encountered such a strange thing. Just as he was dumbfounded and unable to understand what was happening, Long Chen appeared in front of him. He grabbed him and started slapping him repeatedly like trying to teach a lesson to a rogue. This is your sacrificial ceremony? This is your peerless technique? This is what you rely on to be so arrogant? Are you trying to scam me? Holding his neck, Long Chen didn't kill him but crazily slapped him instead. The red-haired man tried to escape Long Chen's devil claw to no avail. He reached for the sword on his back, but before it was half out, Long Chen slapped his hand away. You dare to raise your sword against me? You really have guts. Long Chen seemed surprised and infuriated by this action of unsheathing his sword, as if it was some kind of giant insult and provocation. After sending the sword flying, Long Chen suddenly released the red-haired man's neck. Grabbing his red hair, Long Chen pulled his head into his knee, smashing his nose. The sound of bones breaking rang out along with a shriek. The red-haired man's face caved in. A supreme expert of the blood race, one called the Sacred Sun was actually beaten into such a state. People found it hard to believe. With all his power, the red-haired man pulled back, causing his hair to be ripped out along with his scalp. Didn't Long Chen say it was just a projection? How does it have a physical body of flesh and blood? Asked one disciple. If it didn't have the true body's blood and soul as part of it, it wouldn't even be considered a proper projection clone. Condensing such a clone that possesses the same senses and reactions as the true body comes at a certain price, explained Kujinying. This kind of projection clone was not just an image. The true body had to send its soul and essence blood into it as well. In other words, the clone's senses were linked to the true bodies. That was why it had a body of flesh, why it was able to be controlled so easily by the true body and why the sensations of this beating were being transmitted straight to the true body. Long Chen continued to punch, kick, knee, and elbow him, beating him up to the point that he was no longer in human form. Having lost his blood light domain, the red-haired man was unable to escape Long Chen's attacks. Long Chen also didn't give him a chance to summon his domain again. He was unable to counterattack at all. This sight made people look at each other with odd expressions. Was this really the same peerless expert that had forced even heavenly geniuses like Chu Yao and the others into desperate straits? Ah, he's not skilled in close-range combat, said Nangong Zuiyu suddenly, causing everyone to understand. This made them realize why he had summoned his blood-like domain. 
It was because that domain covered up his lack of skill. Within that domain, he had been able to freely teleport, allowing him to maintain a safe distance from everyone. It was only his fury that had resulted in him condensing all the power of his blood light domain to kill everyone in one blow. Perhaps it was because he had found that everyone's attacks were also long range so that they couldn't threaten him, or perhaps his decision had simply been clouded with anger. Either way, this weakness was now fully exposed to Long Chen. The fear that everyone had felt toward this terrifying expert diminished. He had been someone capable of stripping Heavenly Dao energy from them. But seeing Long Chen beating him so easily, they also felt the slightest shred of sympathy. Long Chen hadn't even summoned his divine ring or battle armor. He hadn't even used half his power. As for trying to create distance between them now, was the red-haired man really capable of such a thing in this state? Just how much battle experience had Long Chen accumulated through the years? To use Long Chen's words, when he wasn't fighting, he was always on the way to another fight. With that combat experience, would Long Chen let him escape after catching him? He didn't even have a chance to activate his blood sun. Long Chen unleashed a tempest of attacks. He didn't go lightly, but he didn't go too hard either. He was simply beating him up. Who let you be so arrogant do you want to shout a bit louder? Didn't you say that your daddy was amazing? Call him out then. The red-haired man roared. When did I ever bring up my dad? You dare to talk back. I'll let you talk back. I'll let you talk back. Long Chen increased his beating. More of the red-haired man's scalp came flying off as Long Chen tore off more of it, leaving him hairless. Despite knowing that they shouldn't laugh, Chu Yao and the others couldn't help it. The stark contrast between when he had arrived and now was just too great. A generation's genius was turned into this state by Long Chen. The red-haired. No. The bald man from the blood race felt like he would explode. He tried multiple things, but Long Chen wasn't giving him a chance to connect to his blood domain or use his sword. As long as he could pull out his sword, he would have a chance to unleash his power and summon his blood light domain. But Long Chen didn't give him that chance. He suddenly let out a heart-rending roar containing endless resentment. Long Chen, just wait, all of you. When my true body descends, I'll make you experience just how luxurious death is. He exploded detonating himself. Long Chen was blown back. Blood runes surged toward the blood sun from his body. Long Chen reached out to grab them, but the explosion had blown him back too far. They entered the blood sun, which flew into the spatial channel and vanished without a trace. Bastard. A furious roar shook another world. The red-haired man stood in the sky, his face twisted with fury. Beneath him were countless experts of the blood race, quivering as they knelt. Even the fourth step nether passage experts were too terrified to even look at him. Long Chen, you idiot. My projection clone only had 30% of my power. When my true body comes, I'll teach you what despair is. I'll show you the power of emerged spirit blood and spirit bone. You and I. Arg. The red-haired man unleashed a wave of power in every direction, shattering mountains and causing the experts below to hack up blood but they still didn't dare to make a sound. Chapter 2353 Waving Goodbye Translator Born to be back within the yin-yang world, the blood sun was gone. The battlefield was filled with corpses, mostly of the blood race. The martial heaven continent side had suffered very few losses. After all, the dragonblood legion had taken the core of the battlefield. With the martial heaven alliance, the Nangong family, and the Bidang family only cutting through. With this strategy, they had only lost fewer than a hundred people in this battle. It could be considered an absolute victory. With the red-haired man having detonated himself, the battle was over. Everyone looked at Long Chen. The next step would be cleaning up the battlefield, but they would need to listen to Long Chen for this. After all, the battlefield was a fat pie to be carved up now. They didn't want to start a fight over such a thing. Such strife had occurred quite a few times on historical battlefields. There were even some records of an alliance breaking up and starting a fight right after a battle was over because of differing opinions on how the cleanup should be handled. Ling Shen, send people to clean up the battlefield. Have all the treasures split evenly amongst the five powers, said Long Chen. It was more convenient for the Martial Heaven Alliance to do this work as they had more people. Of course, 
the work would have to go to the most trustworthy disciples who wouldn't get greedy. As for the five powers, they were the Dragon Blood Legion, the Martial Heaven Alliance, the Nangong Family, the Bidang Family, and the Elusive Music Immortal Palace. Zi Yan immediately shook her head. The Elusive Music Immortal Palace only sent me. Just being able to see the Blood Race's Sacred Sun's techniques was enough to benefit me. The Elusive Music Immortal Palace doesn't want a share of this battlefield Long Chen said. Fairy Zi Yan. The Elusive Music Immortal Palace raised you and can't be made to have sent you for nothing. Giving them a share is my duty. Looking at Long Chen's bright smile. Zi Yan also smiled. Then I'll thicken my face and accept. It was true that even if she didn't care about profit, it could still be helpful to her sect after all. The development of a sect cost money. Boss, we have too much essence blood this time. Xia Chen secretly sent a message to Long Chen. Long Chen nodded. From the start of the battle, he had said that everyone could gather the essence blood as they fought. Just based on Yi Lingxian, Nangong Zuayu, and Bidang Rushuang's smiles. It was clear that they had gained an immense amount. After all, they had killed the entire army of blood race that had been stationed within the Yun Yang world. They had been elites with extremely pure essence blood, giving a greater amount of immemorial essence blood. Good. Then any excess can be given to our allies, responded Long Chen. Tens of thousands of people moved along the battlefield, their progress not very fast. After all, this battlefield was extremely large and it had been badly torn apart. Many fragments of divine items and such were buried beneath the ground. Those fragments could be reforged when they returned. They were all good things. Other than that though, there were also the corpses of the Martial Heaven Continent's experts. They had to be buried at home. Long Chen, having killed so many experts of the blood race, they might go crazy. They will very likely launch a sneak attack on the Martial Heaven Continent, said Kujinying. So what? It doesn't have anything to do with us. Last time, the blood race's sneak attack was essentially a slap in the face to the divine families. Now I've essentially helped the divine families win back some face. If the divine families aren't even able to handle a counterattack from the blood race, then what right do they have to say that they will let everyone in the battle against the dark era? Long Chen wasn't the slightest bit worried about such a thing. The Divine Family's foundation was definitely not just what they had revealed so far. Boss, should we just occupy the Yun Yang world and charge our way into the Blood Race's headquarters? Seeing how successful they had been this time, Guo Ran started to get crazy. Long Chen glared at him. Did you take a blow to the head? The reason we are able to fight the Blood Race in the Yun Yang world is because of the connection between the Martial Heaven Continent and the Yun Yang world. The Martial Heaven Continent's laws are still present in the Yun Yang world. So all you Empyreans are able to use the Heavenly Dao energy. But if you go to another world, how do you know that that world's Heavenly Dao energy will still support you? Did you not see that the red-haired fellow required using the Blood Sun to infect this world first in order to use his power? Without it, he was just a dog I could beat. Do you want to end up like him? Oh, is that the case? Then never mind. I don't want to be beaten like that, and someone as scared of dying as me wouldn't even have the courage to kill myself. I'd be toyed with until I died. That really is a frightening thought. Without heavenly Dao energy, Guo Ran suddenly shuddered. The runes on his armor were now capable of absorbing heavenly Dao energy. Without that support, his spiritual Yuan would quickly run out. The Yun Yang world is a place where two worlds laws intersect. Both sides can use their power here. But it's clear that the laws of the Martial Heaven Continent are stronger. So we actually have an advantage. But if we leap worlds again, then it will be a completely different case. Ku Jinying nodded. The other seniors nodded as well. This place was their home territory. Going into other people's territories would suppress them. Then we have to face their attacks. But we can't attack back. Demanded Guo Ran irritably. You can't put it that way. There are people like Long Chen. Yu Zifeng, and Wild who are capable of fighting without heavenly Dao energy, said Chu Yao. That's true, but Long Chen, don't be careless. Even if you aren't affected, fighting in unfamiliar territory is still dangerous, warned Ku Jinying. She truly understood Long Chen well and didn't want him charging into the blood race's headquarters. He, 
Don't worry, without absolute assurance, I won't do something random like that, promised Long Chen. Suddenly, the Yin Yang world trembled. In the great distance, there were six locations emitting terrifying fluctuations. Xia Chen checked his formation disk. Boss, those six spots are connections to other worlds. The blood race is most likely sending reinforcements. Are we going to keep fighting? There were a total of seven light spots on his formation disk. The place they were at was the largest light. Those lights indicated spatial channels. The spatial channel in front of them was the largest one, but it had not yet fully formed. The other six light spots were other channels in the Yun Yang world, and they were a great distance from here. This place was the Yang side of the Yun Yang world, while those channels were on the Yun side. There were different laws there, so they couldn't enter. No. The blood race knows what happened here, and so they must be confident if they're sending more people. We've already won enough. Leaving after getting enough is the right path, said Long Chen. This had been a sneak attack from the start. Now that the blood race was prepared, there was no point in forcing it. Even if they could win again, they would have to pay a bitter price. With the cleanup essentially done, Long Chen gathered everyone up. Xia Chen quickly set up a formation that could transport all of them back to the entrance. It was a one-time use formation, and moving so many people was definitely expensive. But Long Chen had plenty of wealth now and didn't care about it. All of them were enveloped by the formation once it was complete. However, they didn't immediately leave. Instead, they watched as a dark wave appeared on the horizon. Six armies of the blood race were rushing over. Damn, there are so many. Despite being prepared for such a sight, Guo Ran and the others still jumped. At first, they had thought that the black wave was the result of their auras bursting out of them, but then they found that they were all people. They were endless. Their numbers blocked out the front, making them unable to see just how deep their army went. No wonder it took them so long to arrive. Sending so many people through the wall between worlds requires a huge amount of energy, said Long Chen. Xia Chen nodded. That's most likely the case. Sending too many people through the walls between worlds can cause spatial chaos. They must have paid quite the price to send so many of them through. As the Blood Race's army got closer, they gradually managed to send several terrifying auras at the front. Long Chen announced. All right, let's wave goodbye. We're leaving. Guo Ran and the others enthusiastically waved toward the oncoming army of the Blood Race. Xia Chen's formation activated and they all vanished. Chapter 2354 Readying the Troops Translator Born to be Long Chen didn't know how the reinforcements of the blood race would feel when they saw the destruction of the battlefield, but he didn't care anyway. Having obtained their essence blood, they had benefited immensely. As for the blood race's reinforcements, whether or not they would attack the martial heaven continent immediately due to their rage would be a matter for the divine families. Last time, the blood race had slapped the divine families in the face. Now, Long Chen had returned the slap, and this could be considered a win for the divine families. If the blood race once more managed to break through to the continent, that would be another slap to the divine families' faces. Long Chen believed that as long as the divine families weren't idiots, they wouldn't give the blood race that chance. When Long Chen and the others reappeared, they found that they weren't far from the exit. However, after walking out a bit, Xia Chen snorted. Boss, there's someone watching us from afar. Xia Chen had sensed a spying formation present. Although it was well hidden, it wasn't able to hide from him. That's normal. The divine families must retain full control of the big picture. They must be able to keep watch over the blood race's movements, as well as ours, said Long Chen. This formation had to have been set up just after they had entered. After the last invasion, the divine families had not just strengthened their defenses but also set up many more formations to keep an eye on the blood race. This new formation had been set up to get a better perspective on their battle just now. Long Chen didn't care about it. If he were the divine families, he would have done the same. The divine families had an easy excuse for this. That's why you refused to join the fight, asked Tang Wanur, seeming to understand something. Long Chen laughed. It was just to avoid exposing my trump cards. That's not just for the divine families but also that little red-haired fellow. When his true body comes, 
I don't want to get beaten by him. Although that was what he said. Inside, he truly was wary of the divine families. After all, he was still unclear about their forces. They were not worthy of his trust. After walking out of the exit, the seventh commander Yan Fei and the short fatty were still standing outside. But it was different from when Long Chen and the others had entered. There were now mountain-sized crossbows pointed at them. Their strings already knocked with giant arrows. Ten thousand of them were lined up, giving off an intense murderous aura. Behind them were war chariots floating in the air. They had cannons on them, also ready to shoot. Even Long Chen felt his heart sinking after seeing such an array pointed at him. If those were all activated, they would definitely be annihilated. Haha, <laughs> congratulations, brother Long Chen, on your unrivaled heroism. You've annihilated countless experts of the blood race in one move. You've truly won a great victory for the martial heaven continent. The short fatty immediately walked over and cupped his fists in congratulations. He had seen everything that had transpired. Since this fatty was on the same side as Elder Long, Long Chen also cupped his fists. It was just luck. Long Chen glanced at Yan Fei who was to the side. Yan Fei's face was gloomy, and he didn't dare to look at him, as if afraid of him. It was unknown if it was because of his previous beating or because of the battle. He had seen Chu Yao, Lu Ruian, Tang Wanur, Yi Zhikyu, Dong Mingyu, Yu Zifeng, and the others fighting. If Long Chen wanted his life, he wouldn't even have to do it personally. Chu Yao and the others could easily join forces to slay him. Then there was also the rest of the Dragonblood Legion. Of course, most importantly, there was Long Chen himself. His viciousness and ruthlessness meant that when he was angered, he might do anything regardless of the consequences. Since he didn't want to die, he naturally didn't provoke Long Chen. Since Yan Fei was no longer being arrogant, Long Chen didn't bother with him. Yan Fei was just a dog of the Yi family, someone of so little importance that killing him was insignificant. The blood race's army is coming from all directions. I may have to trouble you, said Long Chen. The fatty smiled confidently. Don't worry, we're prepared. If they dare to come, as long as they're in the Nether Passage realm, we'll slaughter them all. For him to say this, it meant that even peak fourth step Nether Passage experts would be annihilated by them. It seemed that the Divine Family's trump cards didn't just stop at those crossbows and chariots, or he wouldn't have claimed such a thing. That was to be expected. Without that kind of confidence, the Divine Families wouldn't be able to lead the upcoming battles. You just finished a large battle, so you should rest. Leave this place to us. Other than that, when you have time, you should go see Elder Long. The short fatty added his last line spiritually so only Long Chen could hear. Long Chen nodded. I'll definitely go see him later. And you know, after talking to you so much, I still don't even know your family name. That's rude of me. Me? You can just call me Fatty Zhang. As for my name, it sounds worse than Fatty Zhang normally. Others called him the Sixth Commander or perhaps Commander Zhang. But those familiar with him, and some of the elders, called him Fatty. In truth, he wasn't particularly fat. He was a far cry from Tu Kai and Shang. But due to how short he was, he appeared fatter. More accurately, he was very well built or he wouldn't be able to use that giant axe as his weapon. All right, then brother Zhang, I'll be leaving now. I'm also busy tonight, so let's find another time to have a good drink, said Long Chen. He didn't feel that this fatty Zhang was a bad person. He was quite direct and refreshing actually. Long Chen liked being friends with such people. After that, a path opened between the crossbows and chariots, allowing Long Chen and the others to leave. Once they left, they didn't go to the Martial Heaven Alliance's headquarters but the territory of the Xuan Beasts. When they arrived at the new territory of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race, the coronation was about to end. They barely managed to be there for the finale. Ha ha ha, we arrived just in time. We can eat right now. Long Chen brought everyone over, and Kei Yuz who personally came to greet them. The various Xuan Beasts relaxed upon seeing them arrive, without them being present. The Xuan beasts had felt uneasy, thinking that Long Chen didn't like this turn of events. Moreover, there was shock on their faces. The murderous aura around Long Chen and the others was still extremely strong. 
They had clearly just undergone a bloody battle. Although they had changed clothes and wiped away the blood, their bloody battle against the blood race would leave a murderous aura on them for several days. It was only after they arrived that the news of what had happened reached the Xuan beasts. They all jumped in shock, staring in disbelief. Long Chen had led the experts of the Dragon Blood Legion, the Martial Heaven Alliance, the Nangong family, the Bidang family, and the elusive music Immortal Palace into the Yun Yang world. They had just wiped out the entire army of the Blood Race stationed there. Part of that news came from the Divine Families, while another part came from the Martial Heaven Alliance. After all, this victory needed to be reported to the various sects. As a result, this information spread throughout the entire continent. The people attending the coronation felt like they were dreaming. The coronation hadn't even been that long. But Long Chen had wiped out the Yun Yang world's blood race during this time. That was simply monstrous. It's too bad that I couldn't go, grumbled Cloud. Although Kei Yus who was the leader of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race and was now crowned empress, everyone knew it was temporary. That position would belong to Cloud. Cloud was the true hope of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race. As for Meng Chi, she could not be called her master, but the two of them were inextricably linked. Meng Chi also had the myriad spirit diagram and she was respected immensely amongst the Xuan beasts. Cloud had wanted to go since she had the warlike blood of the Xuan beasts flowing in her veins. Seeing that she wasn't happy, Dong Mingaya went over to tell her that the battle hadn't been too big. The channels to the other worlds had only been opened at the very end, and the true battle was still yet to come. Only then did she cheer up. Dong Mingaya and Cloud both looked like 14 or 15-year-old girls, filled with vitality and naivety. Hence, the two of them were particularly close. The only one closer to Cloud was Meng Chi. The feast to celebrate the coronation was tasteless as too many people were mixed in amongst the attendees. There were people from the Corrupt Path, Pill Valley, and the Ancient Family Alliance. Even if ambassadors were protected, they were still enemies. Hence, Long Chen ignored them. He wasn't in a position to do anything to them, and this was the territory of the Xuan Beasts. Although the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race had absolute trust in Long Chen, some races amongst the Xuan beasts didn't feel the same way. As Long Chen didn't want to cause difficulties here, he could only eat with everyone peacefully. After the feast, the coronation was officially over, and the various attendees left. When Zi Yan rose to leave, Meng Chi pushed Long Chen. Big sister Zi Yan, are you leaving? Let Long Chen send you off. Chapter 2355 Playing Matchmaker Translator Born to be Zi Yan's face reddened slightly and she waved her hand. No need. No need. I. Long Chen rose from his seat. Fairy Zi Yan. No need to be courteous. It just so happens that I have a few words I wish to say to you. Since he had gotten up, it wasn't convenient for Zi Yan to continue declining. She waved goodbye to everyone else and walked away with Long Chen. Once they were gone, Tang Wan'er finally said, No need to be courteous. It just so happens that I have a few words I wish to say to you. I really look down on him. Tang Wan'er's mocking made Meng Chi and the others laugh. Meng Chi asked, What? Are you jealous? Tang Wan'er curled her lips. What is there to be jealous about? That bad scoundrel even needed you to remind him. It seems his skills have declined really. You're not jealous, teased Chu Yao. Really, big sisters, trust me. I also like big sister Zi Yan. Of course, I also like big sister Rushuang and big sister Ziyu. Stop, stop, this matter has nothing to do with me, exclaimed Bidang Rushuang. Although Long Chen's decent, I won't be sharing a man. She had heard the suggestion in Tang Wan'er's words. She didn't want any such misunderstanding between them. Although she did like Long Chen, she had her own pride. On her path to the top, she didn't even know how many heavenly geniuses had prostrated themselves before her. However, she had not seen one she favored, and she would not be sharing the one that she liked. She was clear on her own character. If she didn't find a suitable person, she was fine continuing to be alone. I am the same. The reason I helped Long Chen is partly because I like his loyalty and heroism but I am only willing to listen to his orders because the sovereign favors him. 
The sovereigns will always be my greatest belief. The sovereigns have an even higher position in my heart than God's. For a sovereign to call him brother, I am willing to protect him with my life. But it has nothing to do with romance. Added Nangong Zuayu. Ah, then that's too bad, said Tang Wan'er. Seeing her disappointment, Bidang Rushuang curiously asked, Why would you want us to end up together? Aren't you worried about Long Chen being pulled away by someone else? If you want him, then take him. If you join us, we'll get stronger. Long Chen, he has a lot on his shoulders. I wish for more people to share his burden, said Tang Wan'er, getting emotional toward the end. A person's character wasn't so easy to change. She remained someone of a jealous nature. But for Long Chen, she was willing to suffer. Seeing her sincerity, Bidang Rushuang was moved. She held Tang Wan'er's hand. For Long Chen to have someone like you is definitely thanks to the fortune that he had accumulated for eight lifetimes. You all treat him better than he deserves. Nangong Zuayu nodded as well. Women understood women the best. They were able to understand Tang Wan'er's heart the most. And it was that understanding that made them feel especially moved. The few of them were sitting behind a sound screen with Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, Yi Zhikyu, Lu Ruian, Dong Mingyu, and Cloud. On the outside, the Dragonblood Legion was eating happily without knowing what was happening on their side. Tang Wan'er began to tear up. The real fortune was for us to meet Long Chen in our lives. It is because of Long Chen that us sisters can be together. I am really happy. But Long Chen is different. He has many secrets in his heart that he has never shared because he doesn't want to burden us. He has a great deal of pain inside. But he doesn't show it. Only suffering in silence. In our hearts, he is the only one. However, his heart doesn't just have us, but all those brothers out there who are willing to follow him to the death. He is a fool who is willing to risk his life for any one of us and any one of them. Others see him as a peerless hero or a vicious fiend. He is admired and feared, but he also has times of fear and indecisiveness. He is afraid of losing us, so he doesn't dare to stop his footsteps. He is constantly pushing himself onward. Although he is tired, we don't know how to help him with that burden. So when Long Chen participated in the Dongfang family's gathering of past and present heroes, I told him to do as he pleased. At that time, Tang Wan'er had told Long Chen not to have any misjivings about her, even encouraging him to do what he wanted to. Hearing that, Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuayu exchanged glances. Bidang Rushuang sighed. You feel so deeply toward Long Chen. But Long Chen feels the same way toward you. Hmm? What are you talking about? Asked Tang Wan'er, not understanding. I was wondering why Long Chen seemed like he had a mental problem when he encountered me for the first time. Said Bidang Rushuang with a smile. She explained their first interactions. At that time, upon encountering Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang, he had meticulously maintained a certain distance. Especially toward Bidang Rushuang. In particular, his repeated warning that he wouldn't give her his heart over and over again had been used perfectly, almost driving her insane with rage. Now that she thought back to it, she realized why he had been acting like that. He hadn't wanted to draw anyone else's attention, so he purposely gave them a bad first impression. In that gathering, he was essentially the weakest. Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang were peerless geniuses who had suppressed their entire eras. All the ancient heavenly geniuses had come out, in his most helpless time, when even Tang Wan'er would rather suffer for Long Chen to pull in some reliable supporters. His pride had been provoked. Since when did he need to rely on seducing women to survive? That was why he didn't bother giving them a good impression when he first encountered them. It was the opposite. He was as crude as a rogue, and it had worked so well that Bidang Rushuang had almost lost control and shot him full of holes several times. Hearing Bidang Rushuang's explanation, Tang Wan'er was both happy and sad. She knew that her character wasn't too likable, which was why she was particularly afraid that Long Chen would stop loving her, creating a negative cycle. She hadn't thought that after she had given him her permission, he would intentionally pull away from peerless heavenly geniuses like Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuayu. Big sister Bidang. Big sister Zuayu. Why not be with us? Why do we have to separate? Asked Cloud. Menchi and the others smiled at her innocence. 
Although Cloud looked the same as Dong Mingyu, she was still a child and didn't understand these things. Who said that we would separate? We'll definitely be together often, especially against the Dark Era. No one knows if we'll even survive as a sovereign candidate has yet to appear. Hence, talking about romance isn't for me. I am the heir of the Bidang family. I, Bidang Rushuang, am going to make some big moves to make sure future generations remember me forever. Bidang Rushuang stood and patted her bow. Sisters, there's not much time left. We just saw another kind of realm from that red-haired man. So I'm going into seclusion. With my comprehension from this battle, I believe I will quickly reach the second step of Nether Passage. You all have to work hard too. After saying that, Bidang Rushuang hugged the crying Tang Wanur. Little sister, don't cry. Work hard on your cultivation. Within this chaotic world, power is everything. If you want to love someone, the most important thing isn't for him to know, but for him to live. Yes, I'll definitely work hard. Tang Wanur wiped away her tears and nodded cutely. Nangong Zuayu also rose from her seat and said goodbye. The others hastily got up to send them off. Above a beautiful mountain range covered by an ancient forest, two figures slowly walked through the air. Actually, you don't need to send me off. You're very busy. When Zi Yan looked at Long Chen, there was a faint redness on her cheeks that might just be their natural color. The Zi Yan today seemed particularly bashful and was especially enchanting. Long Chen smiled. That's precisely why I am sending you off. I feel very relaxed with you. This way, I can forget all my vexations. Zi Yan's blush deepened. She didn't quite dare to look into Long Chen's eyes. There was a hint of delight in her eyes but also unease. Do you remember when we first met? Asked Long Chen suddenly. Zi Yan looked into the distance as if seeing through the years gone by. She covered up a smile. Of course I remember. You're definitely the person with the worst etiquette I've ever seen. I still remember how particularly amazing your answers to what the Dao, the Humane Dao, and the King Dao were. He, at that time, I was just spouting nonsense, said Long Chen. Seeing his embarrassment, Zi Yan couldn't help laughing. Long Chen also had moments when he was cute. Zi Yan, seeing her smile, Long Chen's heart moved. He clutched her hand, causing her to stiffen. She looked at him nervously. Long Chen, you. Chapter 2356 The Mysteries of the Heavens Cannot Be Leaked Translator Born to be Zi Yan trembled. In her whole life, she had never been this close to a man. She was nervous and lost. Seeing her panic, Long Chen softly said, Zi Yan. There are many things that I want to say to you, but I've never had a chance. You are meticulously maintaining some kind of distance toward me, so I don't know how to face you. When we were enemies, you got in my way several times. To tell the truth, it really hurt me. Sorry, Zi Yan lowered her head. Due to their different philosophies being so contrary, they had not been friends. During the dragon slaughtering convention, she had fought against him. At that time, he had also said some heartless words. Those words had filled her with pain. But she also knew that she wasn't the only one in pain. Long Chen's grip tightened on her hand. I'm very curious why I didn't know myself. When we were enemies, my heart was in constant pain. When you said that you would no longer be my enemy, a stone fell from my heart. I felt the world brighten and become colorful. At that time, I realized that I had fallen for you a long time ago. But I was always afraid that you would be my enemy. And even more frightening was the thought that I might one day have to kill you. Zi Yan, how about you stay with me? I will use my life to protect you. If you're by my side, I can face the dangers of the world without fear. This declaration of love wasn't particularly flowery, but every word was true from his heart. His feelings toward Zi Yan had silently appeared without him even being aware of it. Now that they had no conflict. He could say these words that he had been holding back. He instantly felt lighter. Long Chen. I. Zi Yan's eyes grew misty. She slowly leaned her head against Long Chen's chest. Thank you. I'm so happy that you would say such a thing. But. But what? You. You don't like me. Long Chen's heart suddenly sank. Zi Yan shook her head. Sorry. I am unable to live up to your feelings. 
I already swore in front of my ancestor's statue that my life would belong only to the elusive music immortal palace. I cannot marry Zi Yan's tears suddenly overflowed. The endless grief in her heart could never be put to words. Thank you, Long Chen. Zi Yan pulled away and instantly vanished from Long Chen's sight. He was pale. He wanted to follow her, but just as he raised a foot, he put it back down. He stood there like a statue for a long time. Zi Yan flew away a great distance. When she saw a large waterfall ahead, she threw herself inside it, finding a cave for her to weep within. She held on tightly to a stalagmite as she cried. She cried as if unleashing all her grievance. Behind her, a beautiful woman in golden imperial robes appeared. This woman looked to be in her late twenties. Her hair was tied up in a high bun, and she looked like an empress. She sighed at Zi Yan, but her voice was warm. Foolish child, even when crying, you don't dare to cry loudly. Aren't you using the waterfall to cover up the sound? Senior Seven String, I, Zi Yan seemed like a wronged child, and she threw herself into her embrace like she was family. The woman gently brushed her hair. Child, I told you not to agree with those people, but you refused to listen, but I had no choice. As long as I didn't have to be Long Chen's enemy, I was willing to accept any condition. Are you going to allow this promise to lock you up for a lifetime? Is that worth it? The woman shook her head. Everything I have was given to me by the elusive music Immortal Palace. A person needs to know how to repay kindness. This was the only way for me to stop being enemies with Long Chen and not betray the elusive music Immortal Palace. Zi Yan closed her eyes, bitterly saying, I thought I was the only one. I thought it was just wishful thinking. But today... He confessed his love for me. How can I be happy and hurt at the same time? Your nature is too kind. You won't betray others. But what if others betray you? The woman shook her head with a bitter smile. Long Chen? I haven't given him anything. So how could he betray me? Zi Yan shook her head at the implication. Long Chen is the same as you. He won't betray anyone. I was talking about. Well, never mind. Long Chen is your devil star. They didn't lie to you about that, but there is one aspect that they explained wrongly. The woman's smile turned cold. Senior, what are you talking about? You don't understand because the time hasn't come yet. Child, don't cry. Your future is not as dark as you imagine. There are still many changes to come, comforted the woman. Really of course. Let's go. When you get back, go into seclusion. This immemorial essence blood can make up for your lack of bloodlust. With it, you can fully awaken your manifestation. If you still don't reach that level, you'll be thrown behind by that girl called Yi's Hikyu. Senior, I'm curious. Why do you want me to get closer to Yi's Hikyu? I can sense something familiar about her, said Zi Yan suddenly. The mysteries of the heavens cannot be leaked. You'll know in the future, so you don't need to ask. I cannot see your exact future, but I know that although it's not very good, it's also not terrible after saying that. The woman and Zi Yan vanished together. Long Chen returned, still a bit dismayed. When Men Chi and the others saw him, they rushed over. Long Chen, what happened? Asked Tang Wan Er. My pickup skills failed. Sighed Long Chen. How could that be? Men Chi and the others couldn't believe it. They had all seen the tenderness in Zi Yan's eyes when she looked at Long Chen. Although Zi Yan acted quiet and content. She was unable to hide her feelings from them. Meng Chi had nudged Long Chen to send Zi Yan off to give them a chance to talk alone. Unexpectedly, Zi Yan had refused him. Does Zi Yan have her own secret troubles? Even a blind person can see her feelings toward you, wondered Tang Wan Er. Long Chen nodded. That's the most likely case. Zi Yan said that according to the elusive music Immortal Palace's calculations, I am her devil star. That's absolute nonsense. Her sect definitely used it to force Zi Yan into an oath binding her to them. To not be my enemy. She compromised with them. That damn elusive music immortal palace. Are they forcing me to tear them down? HMPH. The elusive music immortal palace is said to be a protector of the martial heaven alliance. But they're so despicable. Cursed Tang Wan Er. At first, Long Chen and Zi Yan had always fought whenever they encountered each other. Their philosophies were complete opposites. What had made Zi Yan's attitude change was the seven-string C suppressing zither. 
It had sealed her power and changed her appearance, allowing her to see another point of view within the Yun Yang world, that had allowed Zi Yan to see the ugliness that she had never seen before. For the first time, she saw the world that Long Chen saw. Most ironic of all, when she had been in danger, the only one to help her was Long Chen. After that, Zi Yan learned how to see things from many different viewpoints. She had become steadier, and her feelings toward Long Chen had grown. When she thought of how she had fought against him and repeatedly tried to advise him, bringing him so much trouble, she was ashamed of herself. After that, she did her best to make up for it. Of course, she had never mentioned those things to anyone. Long Chen had no idea that the ugly girl he had randomly saved back then was her. However, he did know that those tears she had shed just now meant that he was in her heart. It was just that she was unable to accept his feelings. So his anger fell on the elusive music immortal palace. Why don't we just charge over to the elusive music immortal palace and demand them to hand her over? Said Cloud, clenching her fists. With our current power, we don't need to be afraid of them. Men Chi shook her head, calming her down. Zi Yan was raised by the elusive music immortal palace. She cares deeply about that. So she won't betray her sect if we try to force it. It would be unjust to Zi Yan. She must have her own troubles. So let's take this slowly. There will definitely be a chance in the future. Long Chen nodded along. Let's put this matter aside for now. Men Chi is right. There's no point in rushing this. There will definitely come a solution. But the right time hasn't come yet. We should be focusing on increasing our power right now. We have the immemorial essence blood. So you can all fully activate your manifestations with your spirit blood. As our enemies gather their power, we have to raise our own strength so that we have a great chance of surviving the battles to come. Everyone went into seclusion. Men Chi and the others had to absorb a great deal of the immemorial essence blood in order to fully activate their manifestations. The dragon blood warriors were also doing the same. Only Guo Ran and Xia Chen remained outside, working on refining the essence blood of the immemorial essence blood. As for Long Chen, he went to a desolate area of the Xuan Beast's territory. He took out the demonic furnace. It was time for him to increase his own power as well. Chapter 2357 Grand Master Ling Er Translator Born to be we're finally refining pills. Suddenly. An ancient voice rang out in Long Chen's head. Who are you? Long Chen was taken aback. Ah, I'm Ling Er. Sorry, I usually like using this voice. Ling Er appeared in front of him, giggling. She had clearly been waiting for Long Chen to refine pills. Long Chen recalled that this girl had used a strange ancient voice the first time she had talked to him as well. She had even told him not to be too greedy. Hey, what are you staring at me for? I've memorized the voice appearance, and techniques of every one of my masters. You also saw that I've had thousands of masters. I can use whatever voice I want, explained Ling Er. Was that blood race expert also your master? Asked Long Chen. If so, he might be able to learn more about them. The girl disdainfully said, Him? How could he be qualified to be my master? He didn't dare to. After obtaining me, he didn't have the guts to make a contract with me. As for me, I looked down on him way too much to try and seduce him. If he gave me his essence blood, I didn't mind giving him a few demonic flames. But just two days after obtaining me and coming to that accord, he died. Long Chen smiled. It seems that you're very picky toward your masters. Ling Er puffed up her chest. Of course. After all, I am the spirit of the demon moon furnace. I have my own pride. Even if I can control someone and benefit myself, not everyone is qualified for that. Demonic weapons were particularly vicious. If their master wasn't strong enough, they would be controlled. When they died, all their power would be absorbed by the demonic weapon. However, people's greed could not be controlled. So when such a weapon appeared before their eyes, despite knowing that their lives would be devoured, they were like moths to the flame. Then why not form a contract with me? When I die, everything I have will be yours, asked Long Chen. You can't trick me. Demonic weapons such as myself are all very sensitive to how tough a potential master is. There's no way I can control you. If I form a contract with you, I will never be free, said the girl vigilantly. Long Chen nodded. 
Toph, what she sensed was most likely related to the nine-star hegemon body art. All right, then Linger, have you had masters who could refine pills before? Asked Long Chen. I have, but only three. Ah, talking is so troublesome. I'll show you. She waved her hand, revealing a scene in the air. When Long Chen saw that, he was startled. There was a strange entity with golden fur covering their entire body. They looked similar to a human, but they were covered in fur, making them seem more like an ape. Flame runes were flowing across their fur, with a surging flame within their hands. They were refining pills with the demon moon furnace, and their alchemy technique was bizarre, something that Long Chen had never seen before. This is the first master I encountered who could refine pills. He was very powerful. He died a year after obtaining me. I was very grateful to him because in his hands, I achieved sentience, said Linger. The scene changed. Now it was an underground room with a large scorpion. The demon moon furnace was on its back, and the flames were gushing out of the scorpion's tail. Magical beasts can refine pills. Long Chen's jaw dropped. No, the scorpion is just a houseboat, while the alchemist was inside its body. He was using the scorpion's toxic flames to refine a poison pill. He was also very powerful and vicious. A sect raised him, but he betrayed his sect, bringing people to wipe it out. As a result, he encountered me. Two months later, he tried refining pills with me for the first time. The poison ended up invading his soul, and he suffered for 49 days before dying. This fellow's alchemy arts were also quite strong. But before he could refine many pills with me, he died, said Linger somewhat irritably. The image changed again. There was a human this time using the demon moon furnace to refine pills. As a result, he suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood and exploded. A heart devil invasion, said Long Chen. Yes, I even warned him not to refine such a powerful pill when his technique was so shoddy. But he was too greedy. When the pill formed. The pill devil drew out his heart devil and he died, said Linger, once more irritated at the disappointing quality of her past masters. When those three died, it meant missing out on an alchemist. That was a huge loss to her. Not forming a contract with you is also for your own good. I don't need to listen to your orders if they're wrong. So I might be able to interrupt you in the middle of doing something stupid like that and save your life, said Linger. Long Chen's lip curled. You should stop trying to scam me. First, you say that I'm tough, and now you say that you can save me. Linger blushed slightly, but she stuck out her tongue at him. Fine, count yourself smart. Let's start refining. Let me see your techniques. If they're not good enough, I can teach you a few things. Do I need you to teach me alchemy? Long Chen's gaze grew odd. This girl really did dare to say anything. Of course, as a demonic furnace. Refining demonic pills requires my guidance. Demonic pills are very different from ordinary medicinal pills, said Linger confidently. All right, then please, Grandmaster Linger, guide me. Long Chen cupped his fists, intentionally acting solemn. As a result, she didn't realize that he was just teasing her. Long Chen thought about it and chose the simplest life star pill. It was the pill he had refined the most of, and he was very familiar with it. A flame burst into existence in Long Chen's hand. He was about to start warming the furnace when Linger exclaimed, Hey, it would be best if you used my flame to refine a demonic pill. Your flame is too much on the yang side and will impair my demonic chi. Long Chen stared at her. Are you demanding that I give my spiritual strength for you to control? You, you don't trust me, asked Linger nervously. That's not it. Since you could go into my spiritual space. It means I have no defense against you. It's just that my spiritual strength isn't so easy to control. TCH, you're looking down on me too much. No matter how great your spiritual strength is, I can control it easily all right. Then try it. Long Chen didn't bother convincing her. Sitting down on a stone, he passed a portion of his spiritual strength to linger. The demonic furnace shuddered, and the runes on it slowly lit up. Following that, a bewitching blue flame sprout ignited. Long Chen nodded slightly. Linger definitely did have some alchemy experience. Her technique for warming the furnace was normal. Although there were some aspects she did differently than him, it was all within the norms. As if to prove it to Long Chen, 
Linger began to control his spiritual strength, using it as fuel for the flame. Her flame control was quite precise. Of course, that precision was only good to other alchemists. In front of Long Chen, it could be called ordinary, extremely ordinary. He didn't say anything though. He found that Linger's intelligence wasn't that high, and she lacked the viciousness of most demonic weapons. That was why Long Chen dared to accept her into his spiritual space without any contract. How's that? My flame control arts are pretty good, right? Said Linger proudly. Yes, they're all right I suppose. What's that supposed to mean? You mean just barely, demanded Linger. Oh, you heard that, you, you bully. You're looking down on me. Let's just focus on our first cooperation. I will pass on the technique to refine this pill to you. I'll be in charge of the merger, and you maintain the flame. Rather than arguing with a child, Long Chen began to take out medicinal powders. Seeing that, Linger also became serious. The lid automatically opened, and one precious medicinal powder entered after another. Increase the heat, said Long Chen. I can't go stronger, or two of the ingredients will have their medicinal effect drop. Weaken it, weaken it, shouted Long Chen. I can't or the merger won't be complete. It will reduce the quality of the final pill. Quick, change the flame. Long Chen's expression began to grow ugly. It's too soon. Wait a bit more. Don't worry, I have more experience than you. You. Long Chen's face darkened. If Linger wasn't a girl, he'd have definitely cursed her. He wanted her to go east. So she went west. She wasn't following his directions at all. It seemed that she had the utmost confidence in her own alchemy experience. To set up a good impression, Long Chen chose not to say anything further. He had told Linger what she needed to do, so she could do what she pleased. He wanted to see what level she could mess around to. Eventually, the pill refining process came to an end. The furnace's light slowly faded. Has it succeeded? He, let's see, sneered Long Chen. Ah, about that, it seems. The lid slowly opened. Long Chen looked inside to see a long black entity. He smiled. Congratulations, Grand Master Linger. You've managed to refine a giant turd. Chapter 2358 Activating the Runes Translator Born to be him seeing that long oval shape result. Linger was dumbfounded. That was different from her predictions. Long Chen took a deep breath. He praised her. In all my life. It's my first time refining such a divine pill. Haha, <laughs> if my enemies knew of it, they would probably die from laughing. He, I've gained another killer trump card. Even Linger could now hear his anger. She awkwardly said, I don't know what's going on. Based on my experience, this pill. Well, maybe my experience was wrong. She hastily changed her tone when she saw his expression sink. But she said, you can't blame me entirely. It's those three masters who were garbage. The possessor of the pill sovereign memories who controlled unparalleled alchemy arts had just refined a giant turd. If the pill sovereign were to learn of this, perhaps she would wipe him out of existence for shaming her. Big brother Long Chen, don't be angry. Your face is quite scary like that. Here, I'll let you control my spirit instead, said Linger pleadingly. Letting Long Chen control her spirit would be giving all the responsibility of the alchemy to him. It also meant that if he wished for it, he could control her into forming a contract. Hearing that, Long Chen shook his head with a bitter smile. Getting angry with a foolish girl was meaningless. Long Chen took a deep breath and did his best to gentle his tone. Let me tell you, those previous masters of yours were just some dabblers. Their alchemy arts were worse than crap. If you want to learn alchemy, you should learn from me. Now stop causing trouble. Understand? Yes. Yes. Like a child who realized she had made a mistake, Linger became extremely obedient, nodding like a chicken pecking at corn. Here, although I haven't refined a demonic pill before, I know the technique. I'll take the lead, and you support me. Long Chen started a new refinement. This time, his full spiritual strength entered the pill furnace. Sensing her nervousness, he said, don't worry, I'm not that kind of despicable person. With his soul merged into the demon moon furnace, he found that it really was different from normal pill furnaces. The runes on it were absorbing a very strange energy from the world. That energy was a bit sinister, lying on the yin side. 
That energy contained qualities that were the opposite of what was required during normal refining processes. Linger, concentrate on remembering this process, said Long Chen. Yes, medicinal powders began to merge within the furnace. Under Long Chen's control, everything went very smoothly. The refinement was quickly completed. The lid opened, revealing seven bright pills. Linger clapped her hands excitedly. They're round and not strung together like the last turd Linger trailed off when she saw Long Chen glaring at her. She stuck out her tongue and shut her mouth. Long Chen took out one of those pills. He couldn't help frowning. It can barely count as high grade. There aren't even pill rings. He didn't even know how many Life Star pills he had refined in the past. He was able to refine them into top grade pills with his eyes closed. But these were barely even high grade. Long Chen swallowed one of them. The pill's energy exploded like a volcano, filling his mouth with a burning sensation. The Life Star pill was originally a very gentle pill, but after being refined into a demonic pill, it became so intense. Although it's only high grade, the effect is several times greater than an ordinary high grade pill. It might even reach the level of a top grade pill. Demonic pills really are strange. If it was refined into top grade, then a normal person wouldn't even be able to consume one, praised Long Chen. Demonic pills were extremely particular. They were able to grasp a trace of strange energy within the world, giving the medicinal effect its own life. As for top-grade pills, in order for them to gain a spirit, they needed to undergo tribulation first, just like the Nine Lotus Soul condensing pill that he had given Meng Chi. However, these demonic pills had their own spiritual fluctuations even without a tribulation. Those fluctuations definitely contained something sinister and violent. It was due to this that its medicinal effect was so explosive. If the body could endure it, then the effect would be ten times greater than a corresponding normal pill. Demonic pills could only be refined by a demonic furnace. Demonic furnaces were the rarest of all demonic weapons and demonic weapons were existences that only existed in stories on the martial heaven continent. No one had ever seen one, let alone forged one. The martial heaven continent didn't have techniques to create such a weapon. Guo Ran had flipped through the ancient records, with even the Huai insect helping him find information on it, only to end up empty-handed. Just a little high-grade pill possessed such a powerful effect. If it was top-grade, then it would be amazing. Linger, this time you refine it, said Long Chen. Me? I don't think I can. Your flame changes occurred too quickly for me to understand. Linger was apprehensive. After seeing him refine pills, she understood why Long Chen turned his nose up at her three previous alchemist masters. His alchemy arts could not be compared to theirs. Even after focusing on memorizing his technique, there were still areas she hadn't managed to remember. Don't be afraid. We have as many ingredients as you need, comforted Long Chen. Hearing that, under his encouragement, she tried to refine the same pill. Her memory was actually quite amazing. She perfectly replicated the order of adding the medicinal powders, the timing, and the merger times. He was delighted by this inside. If he could raise her into an alchemist master, wouldn't he no longer need to refine pills himself? As she refined. Long Chen examined the demon moon furnace. He also spread his senses toward the subtle changes in heaven and earth. He found that there were several runes activating when she refined pills, drawing in that strange energy within the world. The strange thing was that those runes would only flicker slightly before going dark again. They didn't seem to be fully activated. The lid popped open, and three balls appeared. They looked like rabbit poop. Big Brother Long Chen, am I too dumb? Long Chen smiled and comforted her. You're already very amazing. You weren't wrong in any aspect of the merger process. Even in the 197 steps, you messed up 7 of the 2621 flame changes. And that's after only watching me once. By the martial heaven continent standards, you are an absolute genius really Linger grew excited again. Linger, why are those runes still not fully activated them? They are demonic runes used for absorbing the demonic energy within heaven and earth. I've never had the power to fully activate them, answered Linger. No wonder, Long Chen suddenly understood. Even if it had been his first time refining demonic pills, the results shouldn't have been what they were. Linger, 
Can you fully trust me? Yes. You are the person I trust the most in this world. Ling Er nodded sincerely. Through the exchange between their souls during this time, she had been able to sense his true heart more and more. Then I will leave a rune within your soul, and it will allow our souls to fully merge. That way, I can use my spiritual strength to help you fully activate those runes. Is that all right? Yes. Ling Er agreed without hesitation. Long Chen smiled and rubbed her head. Thank you. Thank you for your trust in me. Let's start. A rune appeared on Long Chen's forehead, and it slowly entered Ling Er's forehead. The divine gate star within his divine gate shook. A sea of spiritual strength gushed into Ling Er. As the demon moon furnace rumbled, the dark runes began to light up, growing brighter and brighter. Don't suppress it. Fully unleash it. You need to activate all your runes, or we won't be able to refine higher level pills, shouted Long Chen. Ling Er gave up on controlling the speed of things. She allowed Long Chen's spiritual strength to pour into the demon moon furnace. As more and more of his spiritual strength entered, a bewitching divine light blazed out of the demon moon furnace. As a result, the surrounding mountains began to collapse. A wave of light suddenly shot out, shattering the mountains and turning the rubble to nothingness. This demon moon furnace isn't just capable of refining pills. It's also a powerful killing weapon. Long Chen hadn't expected it to suddenly unleash such immense power after its runes were activated. He also found that there were thousands and thousands of runes on the furnace, and only 70% of them were shining with the help of his spiritual strength. Some runes were still dim. Ling Er cried out excitedly. She felt like her shackles had been removed. After an incense stick's worth of time, Long Chen managed to activate over 80% of the Demon Moon Furnace's runes, but he had exhausted his spiritual strength in the process. Stars were spinning in his head. He couldn't activate the remaining runes in this state. Big Brother Long Chen, I feel much stronger than before. Let's keep refining pills. Ling Er grabbed Long Chen's hand and cried out excitedly. Wait a moment. I need to rest. Long Chen sat on his butt. Resting for six full hours before getting back up. All right, let's see the results this time. Long Chen was full of anticipation. Chapter 2359 Refining a Giant Pill Translator Born to be by exhausting almost all his spiritual strength, Long Chen had managed to activate 80% of the runes on the Demon Moon Furnace. As a result, Ling Er was now able to control her body much easier. When they started refining again, it was much smoother. The refinement was quickly finished, with nine high-grade pills forming. Furthermore, three of them had pill rings. The higher the quality of the refinement, the more it benefited her. It was a slow improvement. A furnace that had managed to go through 10,000 refinements only continued to improve as it aged. Linger, let me demonstrate again. There were a few parts where your flame control wasn't good enough. Otherwise, we would have a 60% chance of refining top-grade pills. Here, follow along, said Long Chen. Yes, Ling Er nodded enthusiastically. She already viewed Long Chen like a god. His alchemy arts were so amazing that she felt like her future was full of light now. Blue flames ignited within the pill furnace. The temperature slowly climbed. Long Chen explained, What I taught you before were just some middling techniques. You've grasped the fundamentals and are just lacking experience in this regard. To save time, I'll pass on some higher tier techniques. They have more stringent requirements. Hence, there can't be the slightest error when using them or the result will be garbage. Long Chen's flame energy suddenly rose to a new level. He was no longer using small flames. The pill furnace began to rumble. This kind of flame can increase the refining speed as well as seal more of the medicinal energy inside the pills, that will give the resulting pills greater spirituality. As Long Chen explained, he gave a demonstration as well. He was just like a master chef, perfectly controlling the heat and ingredients as they merged together. Ling Er was dazzled. In just a few breaths time, the refinement was complete. Long Chen smiled. After activating the runes, the demon moon furnace is much more effective it sounded like monsters were trying to charge out of the furnace. Ling Er was delighted by this because she could already tell what grade the pills inside were. As expected, when the lid opened, it revealed nine top grade life star pills. They were smashing around the furnace. 
trying to break through it. When the lid opened, they charged toward Long Chen and Ling Er as if wanting to murder them. I made you, and you want to kill me? Rude. Let's see just how strong you are. Long Chen waved his hand, and lightning blasted into them. The nine life star pills were enveloped by lightning, and their auras exploded. They transformed into giant tree demons larger than magical beasts. Their branches twined around Long Chen and then pulled, trying to tear him apart. Creaking sounds rang out from how hard they pulled, but suddenly, the branches were blown apart. The tree demons vanished from the impact and reverted to medicinal pills. They were blown back, but they didn't flee. Instead, they charged back. Long Chen reached out and stuffed one of them into his mouth. Boom. The pill actually exploded in his mouth. Although Long Chen had been prepared for how ferocious these pills would be, his mouth was now numb, with his tongue feeling too swollen to use. Wipe them out. Long Chen called out to Ling Er. The demon moon furnace's runes lit up, and blue light swords shot out, destroying the pills. As he had thought, the demon moon furnace wasn't just capable of refining pills. It was also a frightening demonic weapon. Big Brother Long Chen, you're amazing. Just from those nine top grade pills, I definitely felt my power increase slightly. Ling Er was incredibly excited. Long Chen waved his hand, indicating for her not to talk now. He was still sensing the power of the pill he had consumed. After a moment, he spat out black mist. That demonic pill was pretty strong. Its energy was definitely ten times greater than the normal variant. But it's also not something that just anyone can eat. Sighed Long Chen. Just now, he had intentionally unleashed his lightning to stimulate their spirits. Increasing their power to the maximum by turning them into tribulation pills. However, the result of consuming the pill was something that only he was able to endure. Even a dragon blood warrior would be blasted apart. This was just a life star pill. Something that was very gentle and its main ingredient was just a plant's flowering fruit. If it had been something like a magical beast's crystal core, then it would be even more violent. Life star pills were useless to him now, but since he was most familiar with them, he used them as an experiment to gain some fundamental knowledge of the power of demonic pills. This would also serve as Linger's foundation for refining other pills. Again, Linger, focus yourself. I'm going to refine a top-grade giant pill, said Long Chen. Long Chen took out new medicinal powders. A flame rose, even more intense than the last time. Heaven and earth began to quiver. Ling Er was watching with rapt attention, not daring to be the slightest bit distracted. One medicinal powder after another entered. The energy of heaven and earth poured into the demon moon furnace crazily, creating a giant whirlpool in the air. Ling Er. Control the demonic runes, reminded Long Chen. This phenomenon was astonishing. Ling Er was nervous as she had never seen such a thing. Suddenly, a powerful explosion blew the lid off. A pillar of light soared into the clouds, blasting away the giant whirlpool. The furnace was empty. All the energy was unleashed in that one blow. Sorry, I. Ling Er was uneasy. She had been focused on controlling the demonic runes not expecting the medicinal merger to suddenly explode from the inside and break out of the lid. It had all vanished. Ling Er almost wept from the loss. Long Chen patted her head. You did well. Or I should say, we did well. A failure isn't to be feared. All successes are built upon failures. This is a law of the world. We also haven't refined it before. So failures are natural. Don't worry, this is the first failure. But it won't be the last. Ling Er was extremely moved by Long Chen's comfort. Big brother Long Chen, you are really great. All my past masters didn't view me as a person, as a demonic weapon. She was enslaved by her past masters. At the start, she hadn't been very powerful. She hadn't had the power to choose her own masters. So she had also experienced quite a bit of torment. Her past masters always felt immense pressure since they knew how disaster followed the master of a demonic weapon. Not knowing when that disaster would strike, some of them would use her to slaughter countless people to unleash the darkness in their hearts. Even after passing through thousands of hands, she had never encountered someone like Long Chen. Even when she made a mistake, he didn't blame her. Instead he drew the responsibility onto himself. Ah, don't think about those things. Here, let's challenge our next mistake. Don't worry, 
Every mistake is another step to success. Seeing her eyes redden as if she were about to cry, Long Chen hastily comforted her. They failed the refinement three times in a row that day. Eventually Long Chen had to rest. Not only because his own energy was lacking, but because they had taken in too much heavenly Tao energy from the surroundings. This time, he was attempting to refine a nether gate pill, and a giant pill at that. If he used the moon and star refining furnace, it would be much simpler. It had refined countless pills throughout the years, and the memories of those refinements were locked within its runes. However, the demon moon furnace hadn't refined many pills at all. Long Chen was opening it up to a new world. He was also refining demonic pills, so the difficulty was much greater. Seven days later, after many failures, there finally came a moment when the pill furnace suddenly grew heavy. Long Chen shouted, Linger, stay steady, boom. The earth collapsed and the heavens turned dark as endless tribulation clouds filled the sky. Chapter 2360 Good Things Come in Pairs Translator Born to be the lid hasn't even been opened yet, but the pill tribulation has locked onto it. Demonic pills really are special. Long Chen was surprised to see the tribulation cloud suddenly appear. Normally, pill tribulation only came when the lid to the furnace was opened. That was when the pill would be sensed. But the demonic pill had yet to fully form and it had already been sensed. Thunder rumbled in the sky, and the furnace was shaking violently. Fortunately, Linger's skills had grown, and the lid didn't budge. The pill had yet to fully form. So if it charged out now, its quality would plummet. Bang. Finally, a loud sound came from within the furnace that made Linger cry out in delight. It's done. Long Chen said. Release it. The lid opened, and a large pill shot out. It had seven bright rings on top of it. This was a giant pill that had condensed the energy of nine pills inside of it. It was the size of a baby's fist. When it shot out of the furnace, the first thing it did was charge at Long Chen. Long Chen slapped the pill away, but he was forced back a step from the impact, his arm trembling. What power is that? Why is it so familiar? Long Chen was startled. Lightning suddenly fell from the sky, striking the giant pill. The might of the pill then erupted to another level, and it began to absorb the lightning. With the lightning coursing through it, Long Chen saw its black and white core. Life and death energy, it's the energy of the heavenly underworld vermilion fruit. All on its own, the giant pill began to absorb the lightning, stimulating its own potential. With the life and death energy flowing through it, it really was like a cultivator. Big Brother Long Chen, the giant pill you refined is actually capable of cultivating exclaimed Linger. Long Chen smiled. This was a nethergate pill. How could it not be strong? The stronger it was the happier he would be. The giant pill suddenly shuddered. It transformed into a giant python that attacked him, and its scales flashed with light. The heavenly killin' horn python. This was one of the main ingredients of the nethergate pill. The heavenly killin' horn python opened its mouth and unleashed a wave of golden flames at him. Long Chen allowed the flames to envelop his body, feeling the familiar heat. He nodded. It really is amazing. The heavenly Killin Horn Python's flame was boosted by the power of the demonic pill to the point of rivaling the heaven incinerating flame. The heavenly Killin Horn Python was a flame attribute magical beast but was only of the 11th rank. Its flame wasn't supposed to be this powerful, but the demonic pill allowed it to compare to the existence that was third on the earth flame rankings. Suddenly, a tail whipped through the flames at Long Chen. A sharp whistling sound made his hair stand on end. Long Chen's fist smashed into the tail, but he was still blown out of the flames. Good. Long Chen wiped some blood from his mouth, his eyes shining. A demonic pill was truly worthy of being a legendary existence. It was capable of injuring him. The heavenly killin' horn python suddenly roared and twisted, transforming into a wild lion that sent a claw toward him. The earth splitting wild lion's essence blood. He. Pretty good. This giant pill was actually able to control the attributes of the precious ingredients that had gone into it. It was even able to unleash the divine abilities they had possessed when they were alive. Long Chen repeatedly blocked, with the pill constantly transforming. Sometimes it would be a giant python. Sometimes it would be a wild lion. Sometimes it summoned various bewitching phenomena to bewilder him. 
What shocked him the most was that as its life and death energy circulated, it began to copy Long Chen's abilities. It was like it was gaining battle experience from him. Moreover, its power continuously rose as it absorbed the lightning. It seemed that it was completely fearless toward this pill tribulation. As its power grew, Long Chen had no choice but to take out his divine ring so that he could fight evenly against it. Big Brother Long Chen, do you want me to suppress it? Asked Ling Er. No need. Let it continue growing stronger. I want to see its limit. This giant pill was like a cultivator going through tribulation. After two hours, the tribulation cloud scattered. Long Chen forgot to even attack the tribulation. Once the tribulation ended, a strange mark appeared on the demonic pill. A heavenly Darun? It has been acknowledged by the heavenly Deos. Long Chen was startled. Was it really so simple? For other pills, the chances of surviving were dismal. They were not permitted to exist within the heavenly Deos, which was why the outside world had almost no tribulation pills in existence. But this demonic pill had been let off. After obtaining the heavenly Darun, the demonic pill's aura grew once more. Based on Long Chen's estimate, its aura was comparable to a third step Nether Passage expert, but its actual power was even greater. It seemed that the giant pill had set its sights on Long Chen, as though he was the one who had killed its father. It refused to allow him to live. Long Chen knew how to refine a demonic pill, but he didn't know much else. Ling Er knew even less. Boom. Long Chen was knocked back. Even with the divine ring, he was unable to suppress it. The giant pill transformed into a lion and pounced over. Bang. A fist covered in dragon scales smashed the lion apart, revealing the true form of the giant pill. Long Chen had been forced to summon the Azure Dragon battle armor. Only in this state could he suppress this giant pill. The giant pill shuddered and manifested its lion form again, attacking once more. Long Chen frowned. This demonic pill had a spirit, but it was too violent. It lacked any intelligence and acted purely on instinct. Ling Er, put it away, called out Long Chen. The demon moon furnace shuddered. The world turned dark for just an instant before becoming bright once more. That moment felt like the demon moon furnace had sucked in all of heaven and earth. The demonic pill was gone. Be suppressed. Ling Er controlled the demon moon furnace. Having it forcibly suppress the demonic pill that was struggling crazy inside of it, the demonic pill came flying out. Now, another rune had appeared on it. It was a ceiling rune. Big Brother Long Chen. Here, Ling Er passed it to Long Chen. Her eyes were like two shining stars when she looked at him now. Long Chen had gained another worshipper. Ling Er, help protect me. Long Chen sat lotus style and consumed the pill. When it entered his stomach, he made sure to activate the swallow the heavens, devour the earth divine ability that Evil Moon had taught him. Only then did he unleash the seal. Boom. When the seal was undone, the pill didn't try to transform into a magical beast. Instead, it instantly exploded. Long Chen vomited a mouthful of blood. If it weren't for the divine ability, that detonation might have blown him apart. This fucking pill. Did it think I was its mortal enemy? The demonic pill didn't have the slightest reasoning. It had a spirit but no intelligence. Hence, Long Chen's hopes of raising an army of demonic pills were dashed. The swallow the heavens, devour the earth divine ability activated, absorbing the violent medicinal energy. It then surged toward the nethergate star. The nethergate star sucked in that energy greedily. It grew at a visible rate from that energy. A single pill was actually able to grow the nethergate star to such an extent. Based on that, just 10 of these will be enough for it to enter the second star transformation. Long Chen's heart pounded with joy. This demonic pill might be too violent to control, but the medicinal effect was amazing. It's too bad that they can't be used as fighters. Long Chen sighed. Demonic pills can be subdued. Just at this moment, a voice rang out in Long Chen's mind. He jumped in shock. Moon and star refining furnace? Is that you? It's me. Novaloon.com The Moon and Star Refining Furnace replied. The voice was ancient and was indistinguishable as male or female. You said that demonic pills can be subdued, exclaimed Long Chen excitedly. Yes, I've awoken and can help a bit. Thank you for your help, or I'd have died. Then my master's wishes would never be fulfilled, said the Moon and Star Refining Furnace. 
Long Chen wanted to ask who its master was, but thinking about how the moon and star refining furnace had fought in a battle alongside a sovereign, he held his curiosity back. Sometimes, rashly asking questions wasn't a good thing. The moon and star refining furnace continued. When you refine demonic pills in the future, I can create a formation at the core to suppress its evil tenor, resulting in it having a pure spirit. However, I am still in a weak state, and to subdue a demonic pill will take a certain amount of time, as long as it's possible, it's good. Senior, now that you're awake, does that mean that you can automatically refine pills to recover yourself? Asked Long Chen. I can't be called senior by you. You saved me, and you are my current master. You can just call me Moon Refiner. Haha, <laughs> in my life, this is my first time experiencing good things that come in pairs. With your help and Ling'er's help, I won't need to worry about refining pills again. Long Chen laughed almost maniacally. The awakening of the moon and star refining furnace had come at a perfect time. With its help, he could refine 12th tier medicinal pills. Thinking of that, a fire blazed in his heart. He placed the demon moon furnace in the primal chaos space. He had taught her some pill formulas and had her trained for now. The moon and star refining furnace went in to help as well. After arranging that, Long Chen returned to the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow races territory. When he arrived, Kei Yuzhu immediately said, Long Chen, we were looking for you. The divine family sent word that they wish for you to take a trip to see them. Long Chen smiled. It seems that the star field divine world is about to be opened.